<laughs> you don't uh, get them. <laughs> they go on the fire and, instead. So you said, like, when with the weapons, you can just, like, make it whatever is most applicable? Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. With, with the, so I can make this sort of life stealing a great sort of life stealing? Uh, with the, the weapons, the armor, the ammunition, anything that isn't designated, you can just change. Like what, the spell scrolls. You can change them into what what you need them to be, or rather, they change into uh, what what you need them to be. Um, so, uh, hello, anybody watching? I don't think anybody is, but uh, hello, anybody watching the recording later. Um, uh, this is the last broadcast that went out before the bombs dropped. Um, no, no, this is the. Please don't joke like that. This is. We're on the cutting edge of humor here. Um, no, uh, this is um, uh, the first time we've done this, uh, so there will be some technical issues. We've already identified some slightly irritating background noise. That now I've said it, you all you guys will be able to hear it too. So have fun with that. Um, no. <laughs> no, the spooky ghosts come later. Um, currently, um, we're we're waiting on our, our fourth player. Uh, he has been. Um, so gauche as to get a job. Ugh. How yeah. dare. Yeah, quite, <laughs> quite, quite. Um, but uh, while we're waiting for him um, to, to begin, um, uh, the rest of us uh, good buddies are here. Uh, well, good buddies in the video, I guess. Um, wow, okay, yeah. thanks. <laughs> thanks, buddy. Keeping it he was only, he was only just wishing, wishing me happy birthday only 10 minutes ago. <laughs> I wished you a happy birthday yesterday as he, well. He did. I gave you a double happy Actually birthday. such a good friend. Like, they're all, these people are great. Um, but yeah, so right, um, okay. uh, this is... Uh, no, I just... I, oh, I made up for it. <laughs> um, so this, uh, these guys are, are from um, my Friday group, um, Dragon Hunters. Uh, uh, my only free game currently. I like them so much that I run for free. No, uh, <laughs> I ra- started running the game um, before I started uh, running paid games. Um, this game uh, today is a one shot because um, the person whose soul they are saving uh, in the Dragon Hunters game had the audacity to go to London um, instead of have her so- having her soul saved by them ra- rather um, <laughs> dubiously. Almost like she doesn't want to be saved. It is almost like that, but it's not because I had a conversation with her, and she definitely does. That's Steph, by the way. <laughs> um, but uh, no, the the people we have here, uh, just so people can um, uh, differentiate them uh, for when they need to blame them for all of the party dying. Um, we currently have, uh, and when I say your name, I want you to say hello, say a little bit about yourself, and and or say fuck you, Matthew. Uh, so, uh, Avidius, hello. Hello, I am Ovidius. I am Matthew's good friend uh, from not too long ago, but a uh, little bit long ago. Yeah, he's right. We're not friends uh, anymore. <laughs> yeah, not not friends anymore. <laughs> not, not after he betrayed me like that earlier. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Uh, we have uh, Ryan. Hello, I am Ryan, and it is very hot in this room. So I'm going to address that while everyone else is doing interesting. <laughs> I mean, I've, I'm pretty... Oh, no, actually, no, I, I can't... I'm not going to quote R. Kelly. That's that's extremely controversial for the first stream. <laughs> let's not yeah. do that. Um, let's, let's not get banned from Twitch immediately. Um, uh, the p- person who was just um, agreeing with me because he knows which side his bread is buttered on was, uh, was Theo. Hello, Theo. Hello, I'm Theo. I'm 25, and I never, never learned how to read. Ah! That's not true. <laughs> it's not. I love reading. I work in a bookstore. He, he, he does. He, he, he will eventually rule all of the bookstores. Um, he is a Jeff Bezos in the making, and that's what we know him as. Uh, remember we, me when you're famous and rich, please. And um, <laughs> do do not slay me in the coming robot revolution. <laughs> and apparently in World... Thank you, thank you. Apparently in Roll20, um, we have uh, Steve C, otherwise known as Bradley. Do we have Bradley in the call? Hello. A little bit about yourself and all fuck you, Matt. Ha! Ah, 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 this, this guy, he's late and he comes in here with <laughs> jokes like that. <laughs> That's what I'm for. And then he kicks my dog. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, he he would never kick a dog. Isn't that right, Bradley? It's who? Who does that? Like, yeah. Um, I'm back. I got my cheese. I'm good to go. Do you have your crackers though? No, I'm doing something different today. Uh, I mean, we are doing something different in general. Yeah. So, so you doing something so, different? You know, I'm okay. Yeah, with I, I got cheese and nuts, and like you know, one of those um charcuterie boards or whatever. Oh. I'm I'm fancy today. That 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 is pretty fancy. Um. To the, to the point that I'm not sure I know what charcuterie is. People, anyone watching in chat, feel free to tell us what charcuterie is. Uh, anyone who is currently talking to me, don't tell me. I want chat to tell me. <laughs> uh, do we have any? Oh, we have viewers. Oh, wow. Hooray! Okay. Hello, viewers! Say, we have an audience. What is going on? We have an audience. Oh, no. My God. No, stage fright. No. No, no, no. They're, they're, they're good people. They're good people. Hello, good people. Um... <laughs> Okay, cool. Uh, Enjoy the show. So, everyone's here. I know, I know some people are frantically filling in character sheets, um, but that's okay. Um, Shh. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, it's the new thing. Um, uh, you uh, let people know what's going on behind the, behind the scenes because everything is content now. You, you just gotta, gotta remember that. Um, talking of which, um, so this stream... Uh, is as I said, it's a one shot. Uh, it's called Vault of Terrors. It's set in the same universe as the Dragon Hunters um, game uh, that I've talked about on other prep streams, on the two other D and D five E prep streams, and uh, it's actually uh, a dungeon that I had the idea for uh, a long time ago. Um, the uh, I, I built it mostly today. Did some of the building yesterday. Built the map yesterday and did the encounters today. But um, uh, the general idea and concept for it, I had uh, all the way back at the beginning of um, Dragon Hunters. This is news to people in, in the voice chat as well. Um, I don't know if anyone can remember who's here, uh, specifically uh, Ryan and Theo. Can you remember how you guys found a, a tomb of uh, Rakos in the, the mines that you went to hunt the dragon in? Uh, yeah. yeah, we did not go there. And we way. didn't. There were like tunnels we didn't go down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you were too busy. Because like, we were like level one and scared. Yeah, yeah. It's a good thing because you, you wouldn't have been able to go in there at level. One. <laughs> um, well, uh, this is that tomb. Uh, I had the the general idea for it then, but uh, I have refined it and changed it for a, a level ten party, um, a competent, well equipped, um, working as a team, intelligent level ten party. But instead, you got us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got us. Yeah, I mean, you guys said it. <laughs> um, we know you, you were thinking it. That's why you put that <laughs> strange emphasis on the word competent. I did. I, I did. It wasn't. Yeah, yeah, you got me. Um, uh, in terms of in game canon, um, uh, a, a little. This is set a little bit before the siege of Kandak, which is um, the uh, siege that's going on. So theoretically, you could throw in Tal. And go and meet your characters from Dragon Hunters, and if you do that, then an avalanche will kill you before you can get there. <laughs> oh, I'm immune to both cold and crushing damage. You are not. <laughs> yeah, not anymore. <laughs> um, uh, so uh, around about this point, the Shadow Hyrax Zill has sponsored a, a sep separate team uh, of Dragon Hunters. That's you guys um, to go investigate the tomb that was never investigated of the Sorcerer Kings because it turns out all the other ones have had uh, a magical orb in and all of the other magical orbs that have been found from the Sorcerer Kings have been lost not not naming any names it was these guys it was these guys <laughs> it was Caleb's fault uh -huh, uh -huh. blame the person who isn't here oh. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It wasn't Bradley's and Avidius' fault. <laughs> that well, if Avidius had just killed that vampire. Oh, yeah, no, actually, that's true. Yeah, it, one of them was Avidius' fault. It's just not. For once, it's not Bradley's fault. Congrats. <laughs> that's, that, I mean, that's just, uh, that's just unreal. Are we sure that's right? Have we, che have we checked? <laughs> well, Bradley wasn't here for either of them. Like, he came in after we lost Orb. I feel like it could still be his fault somehow. No, the next one will, 
It'll be his. Well, I mean, maybe this one. Um, uh, so, yeah, so Shadow Hierarchy Zill, um, who in the uh, game world uh, is like the Dragon Pope. Um, uh, and definitely not a, a spooky dude who is definitely not plotting against the Dragon Hunters or doing anything spooky with a name like Shadow Hierarchy Zill. Nope. No siree. Um, but he has sent you guys uh, here because the door in the mines has recently been, uh, been unearthed by a team of archaeologists who have all pulled out because this the door looks like this. <laughs> and they decided that in this world, doors like that mean that they need a team of dragon hunters <laughs> rather than <laughs> random archaeologists to just go in and die and then send the dragon hunters in anyway. Um... So you guys, your mission, which you have chosen already to accept, um, is to uh, use the mechanism um, that the uh, archaeologists did manage to work out on the door to open this door, head down a short tunnel that they could see into some sort of area ahead, um, and uh, explore this tomb of this ancient sorcerer king, Rakos the Maddening, a dragonborn sorcerer king who ruled alongside another four sorcerer kings over a thousand years ago, and find out if A, there is an orb of dragon magic in there, and B, reclaim said orb, C, get out with the orb, preferably with at least one of you alive. You know, with the orb. Hmm. <laughs> All right. What was it again? Uh... A-, a was find out if there's an orb. I see. Okay. I think right. we're gonna struggle. I I know it's a three point a three point objective. What are you gonna do? <laughs> um, Ooh, one point maybe two. Pushing it, it. I mean I know it is extremely complicated, but just try to keep I'm, up. I'm a level with you. I've already forgotten all three points. <laughs> Yeah, I'm hoping someone write it down because like I forgot to. Did everybody? Know. Did everybody dump in? Orb. Because there's a headband of intellect, so that someone doesn't dump in. Just FYR. <laughs> I did dump in, but I don't want it because I want to dump. In. Oh my god! <laughs> you know what? I'll make it. I'll be the smart one. Hooray! Just like in the other. Just game. like old times. Yeah. Just like old times. Take the one on the magic missiles too. All right. So. Mm. Uh, th- Theoretically speaking, um, this is the mission that will make or break whether or not... Oh, hello, dog. Um, th- this is the mission uh, that will make or break whether or not you guys become uh, thrice sworn. Uh, you swear the third oath, which the other dragon hunters have done. Um, you're on, you're the, on the cusp. If you survive this mission, you will be given missions by the Golden Emperor himself. And probably rewarded. And the right of salvage. And all these other good things. Um, also... Um, in my other games, I use music. Um, it's just a side point while I remember it. I'm not going to use it for this one because I'm still hazy on the legalities <laughs> of uh, streaming with music. Um, again, anyone in chat, feel free to uh, chime in and uh, let, let us know about the uh, legalities in that regard. I'm pretty sure that because we're not doing this one for profit um, and I'm, I'm not like going to directly promote any of my games or anything here um then we would be okay but i don't want a chance however uh, i also think it would interfere with the audio quality uh however uh if people who are uh, playing today or people who are listening want a soundtrack to accompany this i built this dungeon too and would recommend uh the link's awakening legend of zelda soundtrack the 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 sort of 8-bit music with the sort of spooky tritones and so forth um i've been listening to it a lot recently because uh, they're re-releasing it on switch and it's a great game and um the themes in the music uh, fit very well uh with this dungeon so that's what i would recommend uh to the point that um i'll probably put a youtube link in twitch chat uh while i'm doing that though um you guys have worked together for a while Yes, you have. You really have. Uh, you know each other quite well. However, uh, as you stand outside of this gigantic door, um, you all look at each other in the new light of this cave. And starting with Dan Wade. Dan Wade, <laughs> what do you look like? As you turn to one of the light points, you see a shadowy figure. Of shadows <laughs> in the corners and around, all around him. And he's-
I lurk in the shadows. I watch for bad guys and evil, and I beat them up. I am Crow Man. <laughs> I love it. Wonderful. I, I am fully clothed. Uh, I have a cloak that appears to be made out of black feathers, probably ravens or crows. Uh, a hat, uh, a cloak, uh, not a cloak, sorry, a hood, and uh, a mask that looks similar to a plague doctor's uh, mask, but with a shorter beak to represent, looks like a raven or a crow. And indeed, he's a crow man, fighter against evil. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, okay. <laughs> Your part. No, I didn't. No, no, I didn't at all. <laughs> I should have expected it. I should have expected it. Um, well, I mean, you guys have been working with Crowman for a long time, so you've learnt to forgive his insanity. <laughs> Overbearing edge. Absolute, complete fucking insanity. <laughs> Talking of complete insanity, um, I know Frankenstein's in the public domain, so you can call yourself Frankenstein's monster. <laughs> Frankenstein's monster. <laughs> so, in chat, we said uh, that we were going to all choose literary characters and then change their class. Uh, them. I, uh, I, may I, be, I may be showing how little I know about literature, but am I the only one who did that? I'm not you exactly, not. but I, my character's based on Don Quixote. So. Oh, God. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> of all the I things won. to be based on. <laughs> and I came home from work yesterday to like 100 messages. <laughs> so I did not read them all. I just skimmed. I missed that entirely. So I met a normal guy. Okay. <laughs> well, I made Frankenstein's monster <laughs> if he was a storm sorcerer uh, so the most logical happens. choice yes um rather than barbarian <laughs> or fighter well i mean he's one. barbarian because he's full of yeah, rage yeah, <laughs> um so yes uh, i am going with the name frankenstein's monster okay uh but he goes by frank for sure but that's not uh, his name. He's the monster. He's not Frankenstein. Yeah. Well, he's owning it. <laughs> he's owning uh, it. <laughs> oh, well, okay. I mean, everybody, we support that. On this stream, we, we support that 100%. Not even actually joking at that point. We do support that. You want to be called Frank, you can call yourself Frank. You want to call yourself Purple, you can call yourself Purple. Cool. Carry on. I'm not sure if the name Purple is in the public domain. So we'll stick with Frank. Pretty sure it is. Um... <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, uh, a, I love life, in that, both in that I like to live and I like the things which live. Um, Are you living your best life? I'm living my best life. <laughs> well, not fight, but if I have to, I'll fuck shit up. Um, I'm pretty tanky. In that you are actually a tank. Yeah, I've got high AC, high, high HP. And you have a tank built, built, built into your body. Yeah. Okay. T-34 on the move. Uh, just to be clear, here, here is uh, Chroma. And Chroma. Here is Frankenstein's monster. That's excellent art, by the way. Um, okay. Um, okay, I'm going to probably not pronounce this right. Reese. It's, it's just Reese. No, that's exa ex exactly right. Jesus, I cannot talk today. Yeah, that, that's okay. I'm it's not like we're only. It's not like we're streaming for the first time or anything. <laughs> Don't worry about yep. it. So, Jace Bellerin, mind sculptor. Yep. Uh huh. So, Reese is an Asimar bard cleric. What? Clark, Clark, Clardic. But that's not a thing. Bar Barrack. Reese the Barrack. Yep. He is, going to, he is going to heal you. You do not have a choice in the matter. <laughs> uh, tall, 
brown crew cut. Honestly, the picture is not a bad that's, one. That's, except... You know what? That's okay because we ha we have a visual medium. We're streaming, so people can yeah. see the picture. So that's okay. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. So, so you are the living guild pact in your spare time. Oh yeah, that, it's the side gig. It's a side gig. <laughs> that is basically how Jace treats it in the novels. So I guess <laughs> sure. <laughs> And last but not least, uh, Svarikov. Svarikov? Sver Svar Svarikov. 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 I don't know. Sver I, I, it was from the, the the Minotaur race description. Oh, okay, okay. Svarikov. Sver so Sverikov. Uh, Svarikov. We'll say, let's call him Sam. Sam. Uh, <laughs> can I call him Swarovski? Um, I think you'll cut your head off if you call him that. I'm pretty sure that's a Minotaur swear. <laughs> Out of so he, he is a minotaur. He is a very big, beefy. Um, he is a fighter. He is a cavalier, or as we call him here, a cavalier, because he is, um, he is like I said, based kind of loosely on Don Quixote. Um, my original idea was Xena, necromancer princess, so I could have a zombie companion named Zombie, but uh, I couldn't make that work in a way that I wanted. Uh, no. We got Don Quixote, the, the Minotaur. We'll have to try and make that work the next time we do this. I'm sure I can... Uh, I'm sure we can figure out a way. Um, <laughs> but, uh, no, that's cool. That's wonderful. Okay, okay. Um, just and the, So he, yeah. he has... Um, because I, you said we could take anything from any of the published books, so I gave him an Aberrant Dragon, uh, which is the source of his lightning powers, but he, so he's got that mark on his face, and it looks like the Lichtenberg figure lines, the lightning stuff coming down his face and all that stuff, so so him and Frankie should get on, on just Sam and Frank. Sounds like a, a group. <laughs> it does. It does sound like a good group. <laughs> I think. I think you guys are like. No, that was I think you guys are the misfits, dragon hunters. Like they, they were like, yeah. where, where are we gonna put Crowman and Frankenstein's monster and Sam the Cavalier? I mean, I guess together. And uh, everyone says Reese is a bitch, so I guess we're gonna put <laughs> Reese with them as well. <laughs> no, I can't. Yeah, no, no one went. expected us to last through the first hunt. Oh dear. <laughs> Yet here yeah, we and, are. and our dragon hunter group name is the Unlovable. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's sad. You're venturing. You're venturing for the orb of dragon magic, but what you really want <laughs> is just someone to love you. <laughs> We're, we're adventuring for acceptance in a society that shuns us. Uh-huh. <laughs> there is a filter of love in the inventory. There. there is a filter of love in the inventory. <laughs> I think he started collecting them or something. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> ju just for um, uh, Sam's benefit, uh, Minotaurs come from the other continent now. Um, I I've worked out where they actually come from in this world. Uh, so you're, you're, you're a foreigner in Arcosia. A, a foreigner, foreigner. Yeah. I, actually, I, I picked the Minotaur because I wanted to do some lore building with you, and that's I already had that in mind. So cool. That, that oh, that works really well. Okay, cool. Okay. okay. Yeah, we can do some lore building. Like, as in, you can make up some shit, and I will make, make a note of it. <laughs> and, oh, right. it and it will be canon, regardless of how ridiculous it is. A <laughs> crow man. No, I, I don't. I think Crowman <laughs> is probably uh, an alternative timeline. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's boom tubed here. Um, yeah. So um, I generated some magical items based on what Xanathar's Guide to Everything thinks you should have. Um, so th that's the handout of magical items. Um, Question. Answer. Can I trade the plus one weapon, which no one's claimed yet, for plus one shield, please? No. <laughs> <laughs> you get what you get. Yeah, I was giving you a chance to take that pl weapon plus one because I already took the weapon. But I will take the weapon plus one if you don't, and no one else does. I don't use weapons. I'm a peaceful man. I use my fist. I'll Wait, take it. What are you doing as a dragon hunter? I got a sword. I'll take it. I mean, I think what Frankenstein's monster is doing as a dragon hunter is. There wasn't there wasn't any other job for him. <laughs> like, what else was he gonna do? <laughs> okay, so so Reese and Sam fight to the death. Grabbing hat of Vermin. 
No, he can have it. I already right, got it. Right. Whatever, whatever. Oh, I'm, right, I'm, 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 you know what? You know what? We're going to do this the old fashioned way that everyone's going to be real excited about on stream. All right, who wants the rope of mending? First person. Okay, I think that was Ryan trying to say yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, want the, I want the magic rope. Cool. Okay, try re tr uh, try dropping and reloading, please, Ryan, because you're breaking up. Um, could be could be my internet, but just try anyway. Um, humor me. Um, who wants the charlatans die? I think the yeah. only dispute is the weapon plus one. I don't care. Yeah, I'll take who wants the charlatans die? die? Cool. Reese has got it. it. Who wants to have vermin? I. Cool. Uh, Chroma's got it. Who wants the boots of false tracks? I do. Cool. Uh, Horn of silent alarm. I. Cool. Uh, uh, who wants the pot of awakening? <laughs> yes. Cool. Um, I need a plant named Sanjo. You've got one. Um, yeah, Sanjo Panda. Yeah. Uh, you got your side sidekick. It's an awakened <laughs> pot plant. Um, I will find an awakened, awakened pot, pot plant. That sounds so appropriate. There is a stat block for it and everything. Uh, awakened shrub. Here we go. And what did you say it was called? Sanjo Ponza, the, the character yeah. from... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How big is an Awakened Shrub? Is it medium size? Is it really medium size? Jesus. No. Oh, it's small. Yeah, that uh, makes more sense. Um... Uh... Sanjo Ponza, yeah. Isn't, isn't it meant to be a donkey? <laughs> No, he's a guy yeah. who rides a donkey. He's a, he's a squire. Oh, yeah, he rides the donkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, he's my squire is a potted plant. Sorry, it's been a while since I've read those. Um, okay. Which is really fitting because my background is Knight of the Order, so I need a <laughs> I also need a horse to put these horseshoes of speed on since you all let me wear them. I know, I know. <laughs> I, 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 you just don't have the required number of, like, hooves. Um, but yep, okay. Um, have, are you, uh, do you have four hooves? Are you a horse or a similar animal? Uh, I have four hooves, yes. I don't believe you. <laughs> I am built out of body parts. I can be made of what I can have whatever. That looks like a hand to me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They're stitched onto my No, back. he's, yeah, he's no, you Frankenstein can't. centaur. Monster. <laughs> well, then he should have taken the centaur race. <laughs> Had I known there were horseshoes of speed, I would have. Well, you didn't, so <laughs> deal with it. Do you, do you have fine steed? No, I'm a cavalier. Oh, okay, so you're that's, a, that's a fighter, not a pal. So it's so it's, it's an actual horse. Then it's a war horse, I guess. Yeah, I just need a horse to put horseshoes on. Okay, the, the, we're I, going into a dungeon. Yeah, your war horse. I know, is... and he's gonna stay outside. Oh, okay. So. He he's gonna st he's gonna stand guard. <coughs> he's okay, the, he's the getaway mobile. Uh, what 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 are you calling the the war horse? Donkey. Donkey. <laughs> yeah, well, we can do that. Cool. Okay. Because cause I'm a huge ass minotaur, so I don't think a horse would want anything to do with Fan like a real fantastic. Uh, yeah, they ride bulls. Oh man! Um, on, on the on the in the old continent, anyway. Okay, cool. Donkey. Oh, Donkey. I'm, okay, I'm, we're gonna have to make this horse Good talk stuff. at some point. Okay. Um, right. So, uh, back, back so the, to the, so, the donkey uh, can have a conversation with the potted plant, yeah. and then we'd be completely off the rail. Oh, so, um, enduring spellbook. Does any is anybody a wizard? Does anyone Unfortunately, care? Unfortunately, no. <laughs> yeah, we can see some of us. Right. Can I use it as a journal? Yes. Okay. Um, speaking of wizards, hat of wizardry. <laughs> Alas. No it was bad. Okay, no one cares. Cool. Earhorn of hearing. Aye. Cool. Cloak <laughs> of many fashions. I think. Aye, definitely. Aye. 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 Yeah, already yeah, claimed that. Okay, okay, okay. Immovable rod. Aye. I got it. Drift globe. Aye. Did you just take everything? <laughs> no, that's literally it. That's okay, it. Mariner's armor. Yo. Wand of magic detection. Yo, I'll okay. take it. Uh, helm of comprehending languages. Give it to Frankenstein's monster. I want him to have. <laughs> yeah, okay, I agree. Um, Frankenstein's monster. Do you want a helm of comprehending languages? Yeah, I suppose I've got the best social skills, I'd imagine, so... Yeah. 
That's true. I'm a bard. Yeah, but he's a sorcerer. <laughs> yeah. I have actually got plus eight. Well, uh, okay. Um, sending stones. Hi. Cool. One to my butler, one to me. A ammunition plus one. Anyone using ammo? Can a hand axe be ammunition? Yes. Okay, okay I'll take it. Cool. Can um, a shield be ammunition? No. Uh, I'll leave your captain in... No, even then. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> um, it would be a weapon if that was... Uh, potion of fire breath. Oh, oh, you're breaking I up. Really want to, I really want to see a fire-breathing minotaur. Mm. Trub. Try again. <laughs> cool. Uh, fire-breathing <laughs> fi fire yeah, minotaur, our, our you say. plant is going to breathe. Oh, my God. Okay, so you're, t you're <laughs> this taking... This is not Australia. <laughs> you're taking potion of fire breath, then. Yes, I... Swag. Um, who wants the robe of useful items who isn't Bradley? Me. Everyone else has got to say Gibbs really quickly. I'm just sitting here quietly. Give me the bloody... Yeah, take, take your robe. Take oh your robe. Oh my god. Alright. Go on then. You can even roll it yourself. Um, I'm surprised Batman didn't want it. Uh, I'm sorry, Crowman. Who, wants, who <laughs> wants to find love in the dungeon? I'll sure, take I'll take it. Ooh. Wait, right. Both really of you, roll a d20. Cool. Oh, okay. well, I, I'm, I'm only it. taking it because, like, the the love aspect. Reese is hated it by for a reason. So. Okay, well, uh, roll well, it anyway. Uh, all right. I, I think Sam's probably going to get it. <laughs> I think it explodes when I touch it. No one gets hey. it. Sam gets it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, it doesn't explode. Your version. You, you bought two, yours exploded. Um, tragic. Talking of exploding, dust of sneezing and choking, who wants it? Yes. Okay. I, I mean. uh, who wants the third level spell scroll that can be any third level spell scroll? Yes. Cool. I'll, uh, yeah. what, what do you want it to be? I'll get back. Okay. Get back, back to me by the end of the list. Um, oil, oil of etherealness. Sure. Cool. Potion of stone giant strength. Okay. Okay. Unless someone else really wants it. I think we had two people. People who want it, roll a dice. Who who, has, who else wanted it? Bradley. Okay, he can have it. Okay, cool. Bradley, you got the potion of stone giant strength. Sweet. Uh, potion of mind reading. Oh, don't all speak at once. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Sure. Um, oh, no. Why did I put that item in give, there? Give me those beans. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that's that's how we can destroy the temple at the end. <laughs> yes. All right. We'll just put another temple. Reese has got the bag of beans. The bag of beans for anybody watching is a fantastic wow. item that will probably send this way off the rails. I would also like the bag of beans. Oh okay, roll, roll the dice. Oh, no. Challenge. Oh, that's a better Boy, roll from Theo. But can Frankenstein's monster roll randomly higher? No, hey, he can't. He fucked up. Yes. Reese gets the bag of beans. Uh, horseshoes gonna... of speed have gone on donkey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the horseshoes of speed, which I'm going to figure out how to put on my own feet. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, who wants the spell scroll of probably chain lightning? <laughs> Hello. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. You see, I said this. <laughs> who wants the circle to blasting? I got that. Cool. Who wants the weapon plus one? No, it can't be a shield plus one. Can it be a spike no, shield plus one? No, it can't. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I will take it. I probably won't use it, but I'll take it if no one else wants My it. god. Well, I mean, if you're not going to use it, then someone else should take it. <laughs> like, there's no, there's cr no way cr I can cr write Man, you can, right? No, but you can use, um, a, you can use a quarter staff. That's not the Crowman way. Oh my god. <laughs> you're... That's the Nightwing way. <laughs> uh, the, it's the Robin way. None, none, none of this Potato Nightwing. Potato. I guess he does use more of the taunters. Night Nightwing is objectively worse than Robin, so... I, I, I will take that plus one weapon, and it will be Andax that's actually a boomer. Oh, okay, sure. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm down with this, yeah. Uh, Sweet. Wand of Magic Missiles. Yes. 
so- somewhere, Jai's like, me, me. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm good. No, I'll pick it. Cool, yep, Bradley's gone. Halfway across the world. Uh, yeah, headband of intellect. I already got it. Cool. Gauntless of Ogre Power. I already got it. And last but not least, Sword of Life Stealing. Yo. Wonderful. We done. We done. What what good content that was. Okay. So. <laughs> chat enjoyed it. Um, Wonderful. <laughs> do, do, let's, just, let's just see if chat enjoyed it. Uh, um, well, we still have people watching. Um, so oh boy. It's, it's the same number of people watching as well, so we haven't lost anybody. <laughs> that is a plus. <laughs> All right, cool. So let's get down to it. Um, uh, people who uh, are actually listening to the playlist, um, uh, Tail Cave, uh, level one, uh, is what you should be listening to right now. Um, so, you guys have assembled here in front of this giant, creepy, stone, ancient door that looks like this picture. Uh, so there's this giant skull on it. Um, it is split in two. It's a big double door. There are cog wheels, um, pretty clearly sort of designed to sort of manipulate and open the door and the sort of bolts across it. Uh, there are uh, glowing red lights in the skull's eyes. Um, there is a, a sort of swirling um, chill wind uh, that fills the cave. Um, as you can see over here, these bats flutter out uh, as you guys enter. Donkey looks around and whinnies nervously. Sancho Panza continues to be a plant. Um, there is this person here who, uh, as with many art, um, is is they they put people on the art for scale. It, it's really good, except for this. So this person is is here. They are a statue. Um, unfortunately, there seemed to be some sort of flesh to stone trap on the door that the archaeologists triggered um, before they figured out. Um, that it was trapped. Uh, they have now removed the traps, they tell you, and they have unlocked the door. So all you need do, they say, is have someone put their hand in the mouth, at which point um, the eyes will glow and the doors open. You all stand... Like job for Sancho Panza. <laughs> he, he doesn't have hands. Also, I can't control his token. Am I supposed to be allowed to control his token? Ooh, um, I don't know. Are you a responsible pet owner? <laughs> I, I have some dogs that would vouch for me. No, I mean, like, is your character a responsible pet owner? <laughs> He's not responsible at all, so. Okay. <laughs> why he has a plant named Sancho Pond. Well, tell you what, I'll give you control anyway, because I'm nice like that. Alright, try controlling him again. Yay! Likewise, so I'll turn him upside down. I will give hey. you control of Donkey. So, are you putting Sancho Panza into the mouth? <laughs> He's my awakened pot plant, so he's he's already been done. <laughs> he already regrets it all, I see. Uh, can he talk? Let me just see. Sentience and mobility. One language known by its creator. It can talk! <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, some of the common items are great. Okay, um, Sancho Pazza says, uh, Eh, senor, I do not wish to go in that mouth. He's hmm. the Spanish German. Yes. <laughs> okay. I I'll stick my hand in there. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Let I am out. brave. I okay. sense evil around here. You, you I'm ready. To, I'm ready to heal him. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um. So, you put your hand in the mouth. Uh. The yes. eyes. The eyes glow. No fear. Uh, you hear um, clunking sounds like cogwheels turning uh, in, in the gate itself and in the surrounding stone. Uh, it, it's so loud that the walls must be slightly hollow uh, to allow uh, for the, the sound to sort of echo and carry like that. There must be various cracks in the rock that the sound is sort of carrying out of and echoing through the cave. Um, uh, the eyes glow. Um, the doors begin to swing inward and open. Um, somehow they're not crashing against each other. It's a miracle of modern engineering and magic. Um, I think probably they 
sort of slide to the side slightly and then begin to turn uh, into the rock slightly and then begin to turn inwards um, so that they don't hit each other. Um, as they do, revealing a look, what looks like a relatively unfinished tunnel leading towards some doors, um, uh, two uh, doors uh, similar to these but considerably less ornate, um, a little way down, uh, a voice um, says from the mouth itself, um, in a fairly uh, normal tone, uh, this is the tomb of Rakos the Maddening. Uh, enter here at your peril. All who enter, who intend ill to its occupants, will be driven mad and to death. In, in that order? In that order, it says. You cannot drive mad what hides in the shadows. Or what is already mad. We don't talk about that. Well, I have no mind to lose. Let's... <laughs> you, remind, you remind me of a scarecrow I once knew. I'm going to take that as a compliment. You should. Um, is Reese currently thinking which uh, god and or dragon he offended to get assigned to these lot? <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, we've we've known each other. I've gotten gotten accustomed to these little quirks. Little. These insane character defining quirks. <laughs> That's what I. Like. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. Um, as I move you across the map and resize you, uh, as you uh, shrink down and become minish capsized, uh, the tunnel ahead is two by two. Um, so put uh, yourself in a two by two square uh, in the formation you'd go down the tunnel in. I'll go first. I'll cast light on my shield. I will also go first. Congratulations. That is. Sancho will go left. Okay. Oh, Whoa. Because the tunnel is too small. Okay. I'll, I'll move him on uh, when he... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, you, you, can't, you can't see through his token, so that's fine. Uh, let me just check that everything is right on this map. But yeah, so as you're walking down this tunnel, um, does anybody have any out-of-character questions about the mission, about the situation, any intelligence skills they want to roll, anything like that? Um, sure. I want to roll a history on um, Rekos. I just kind of see Ooh. what his whole deal was. I yeah. also wanted to do that because I have history proficiency. My god. Sure. Mean meanwhile, I would like a history check on information about the orb that we are here to Okay. Where has anyone has anyone put their hand in the door yet? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Where door it, opened, we're heading in. It, it opened. Like, I just figured out a way to open the door without putting your hand in, but I'm like, Was it was it mage hand? No. That was my idea. Was it putting Sancho Panzer? Was it oh, right. we'll do all also, <laughs> Was it take your hand off Frankenstein's monster and put your detached hand in the door? <laughs> I did consider that. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I kind of expected, like, when it said, someone put your hand in the darkness, I kind of expected everyone to just turn and look at me, but... <laughs> okay, as you're descending these stairs, incidentally, um, the, uh, the way ahead, uh, the tunnel, is, is dark. It is um, not, not lightly obscured, it is heavily obscured. You are descending into darkness. Um, so, does anybody cast light? Yeah, I cast light on my shield. Okay. Anybody else? Um, sure. I'll cast light on Sam's Chicky, Make my horns glow. Sure. I'll cast it on his horns. If people, are, if people are casting light, then I will trail behind the party up 20 feet, so I'm always in dim light. Okay. Once you get onto the map and can... <laughs> 
can <laughs> once you get onto the map and can actually trail behind them that that's completely fine uh, at the moment mm -hmm. though you 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 can't because of the map constraints but uh yeah. sure well, as soon as they move 20 feet ahead you can just stay yeah. 20 feet behind them yeah that's fine i lurk in the shadows <laughs> but now that's oh man know. walk always in the light or we will drag you to it because we are i am the shadows this. i am crew man leave me i will follow Fantastic. Um, Where there is light, there is always shadow. And I would rather my shadow be Crow Man than anything. Sancho, come. S Sancho follows. Uh, yes, uh, si, senor. Um, okay, so, uh, Theo, uh, with a 10, um, uh, you were asking about the history of uh, this, this place, this tomb, right? Uh, Raycast. Raycast. Okay. Like what, what his deal was. Okay. So, um, with the ten, you only know the sort of the barest details that were in the mission report, um, the sort of mission sort of uh, objectives and dossier and so forth. Um, Raycast uh, was one of the five sorcerer kings uh, who ruled over the primal dr dragonborn tribes uh, that ruled Arcosia over a thousand years ago. Um, the dragonborn tribes uh, were eventually uh, turned away from the false worship of the Sorcerer Kings and towards the light of Bahamut uh, by the ancient dragons that now rule the country today. Um, uh, specifically, particularly, um, Jakiro, the Lawmaster, and the Golden Emperor himself um, were the two dragons who converted them away. Uh, the Sorcerer Kings uh, resisted um, the sort of enlightenment and civilization the, the metallic dragons uh, brought. Uh, they were meant to be powerful arcanists um, of one for like each had a different specialty with a 10 you can't remember what Rakos's was uh, all you remember is that he was known as Rakos the Maddening um, uh, they were all sorcerers of one variety or another but again history is vague as to whether or not that means they were mages or actually sorcerers but they are known as sorcerer kings um, you don't know much else about it Presumably, oh. he's long dead, but then again, undead exist. So, uh, they were very powerful, though. Um, they were capable of forging artifacts like the Orb of Dragon Magic. So, yeah, not, not, and uh, um, they were. They are now nowadays considered to have been evil, um, but you don't know very much specifically about like what Rakos was meant to have done or anything like that. Um, Avidius, uh, you yes. were were you rolling history for the same thing, or were you rolling history for the? I, I was rolling history for the orb. Okay, uh, so with the fifteen, uh, you know a little bit more. Uh, the orbs of the dragon ma the orbs of dragon magic, uh, were five orbs supposedly forged, um, in concert in a t as a team together, uh, by uh the sorcerer kings, um. Uh, the actual crafting of them was supposedly done by another sorcerer king known as Algu the Maker. Um, but uh, all of the sorcerer kings uh, collaborated to a greater or lesser extent in their creation. Uh, they are meant to be artifacts of great and terrible power. Um, what has been released to the public and to you as dragon hunters uh, more specifically um, is that what Shadow Hierazil will have told you is that the orb um, contains the soul of a dragon. Uh, probably an ancient chromatic dragon um, that was possibly trapped there by the Sorcerer Kings. Uh, it's possible that that's part of the function of the item. He's not sure. He needs one to study. That his uh, predecessor had one to study, made notes on, but uh, as you know from local politics, unfortunately the previous hierarch was recently assassinated by an infernal cult. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> previously on Dragon Hunters. Um, so, uh, he himself doesn't know that much about the artifact aside from what's contained in the previous hierarch's notes. Uh, hence why he wants you to find one and bring it back so that he can study it and work out whether or not they're a threat to Arcosia or whether they can be used in the defense of Arcosia. Um, I think with a 15, you'd also know that um, based on what the Hierarch knew and the reports the Dragon Hunters since then have given to the church, 
Um, the orbs are capable of stealing the souls of people who die nearby. So don't die near it, otherwise you might get your soul trapped in an orb. And they are also, they seem to be, if not intelligent, then they're either cursed or they have a, a magical property that causes problems for those who carry it. Um, they, they seem to be able to use the kind of magic that the wielder of the orb would be able to use to manipulate their surroundings, uh, a bit like the One Ring in Lord of the Rings, um, to, I'm, ba I'm basing it on that, to um, better find a wielder or an owner that suits them. So they're capricious items and dangerous. And this is fine. Stop. Sorry, said I guess. <laughs> and this is why it must be stopped and ah. reclaimed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wonder if during Croman's entire career, anyone's ever asked Croman, "Are you, do you, are you okay? Do, do you need a throat sweet?" <laughs> <laughs> now say, "Where are the other I've, drums going?" Yeah, I, I think I have like a whole pouch full of lozenges for him. <laughs> <laughs> I take them daily. It just doesn't stop. It just doesn't help. Oh god. <laughs> um, it turns, it turns it, out he, he's actually allergic to them, and that's what causes the throat irritation. Uh, I, I, I would say it's just the mask. It's a mask that never beak makes me echo, and it sounds uh, like I'm speaking from the back of a throat. Just never think. <laughs> no one has seen me without the mask. No one knows my real identity. <laughs> um, Sorry, uh, TC uh, and and Ryan, I I, I think uh, you were rolling history for the same thing, right? For the for yeah, I, I don't even remember what I rolled it for. You just you know like failing his, uh, intelligence rolls is my thing, so you do like doing that. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, I, yeah, you, it, it would have been I guess for the same thing that uh, that Theo was asking for the history. Okay. Of the... You you remember that there were sorcerer kings a long time ago. There were five of them, and they were bad. I'm just fortunate that I remember what we're doing here. <laughs> like with, with the seven, I, I think I, I achieved that goal. Uh, I'm happy for you. Uh, okay. So, as I said, this tunnel, um, uh, which I'm going to move you across to now, and hopefully this doesn't immediately break everything. Uh, you guys are down here. Yes. Can everybody see? I like it. Yeah, can. Yes. Fantastic. Do you, do you have that I'm shining light? Yes. I mean, yes. I, yes, you are. You are. I recognize I'm in a corner, so I can't see it, anything. It is just a small area that you're in currently. It will, it will broaden out when you open. So in, fr in front of you, to the left of Sam and Frankenstein's monster, uh, there are two doors. Um, they are single doors. They have a column in between them. Um, they These doors are stone. They look relatively unfinished. They are of a grey white stone. They have panels in them that look like they were meant to be carved with um, like pictoglyphs or hieroglyphs to de de depict Rakos's life, um, but th they are blank. That they do not appear to have anything carved on them. They just have space for carvings. Um, these two doors, uh, they have stone sort of uh, protruding handles. Um, they look like they are push doors um, to the exterior sides of the corridor ahead, uh, so the north and south. Talking of which, on all my maps, both for people watching and for you guys, um, north is up. On the, unless I absolutely have to make it any other direction, north is up on the map. Uh, also, the, the, the grid squares are accurate. It's uh, five foot by five foot. Um, yeah, so two doors. Um, separated by column. Blank look like they had space for carvings. They look unfinished, made of a, a grayish uh, to white stone. It doesn't look quite like marble, but it looks like it could be close. Some sort of aggregated stone. <laughs> um, and they are closed and they have handles. So, uh, this thing hit that, so that's the door. Yeah. I opened this door. Okay, so 
uh, as you open the door, Matthew is going to really hate me. Because you're going to get on the floor and do the dinosaur. I'm going to cast Dark Vision. Okay. Nope, that's fine. Uh, yep, spending two key points. Do you have Dark Vision? I do. Nice. Good, good use of that ability. Okay, that should have changed your sight. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. So, ahead of you, from the door that... And Sam, do you want to open your door as well when nothing explodes or anything? Oh, there's a door there? There's a door yeah, to, the, to the left of you. Okay. Okay, yeah, let's open that door. Sure. Ha. Ah. Okay, so, ahead of you runs a long corridor um, with what appear to be alcoves in them. Uh, there are uh, what appear to be stone tiles, clean stone tiles of the same sort of greyish stone on the floor. Uh, the walls, likewise, um, of this sort of grey to white aggregated stone. It looks like um, these walls look like they were prepared to have um, plaster put over them uh, in the same way that the Egyptians uh, once sort of built their tombs with these sort of stone walls and then layered um, a sort of carving plaster over it that you could sort of carve into um, but they haven't had that stage um, of the uh, construction uh, added to them likewise um, there are uh, what appear to be sort of slightly raised platforms in parts of the floor uh, they are surrounded by what appears to be copper um, sort of uh, laying in the floor uh, like a groove has been cut and then a line of copper has been in a rectangle has been laying into it um, it it looks relatively firmly attached but you could probably rip it up if you <laughs> want to rip up all the copper um, uh, they look like they again they are intended maybe to be carved or maybe to have something placed on them um, but there is nothing um, the this corridor is pretty dusty. You don't think anybody has walked down it in a while. Certainly you can't see any footprints with your passive perceptions. Talking of which, um, like in Dragon Hunters and in other games, do you mind changing your names on Roll20 so that you have yeah. Steve C and then your passive perception, please? Hmm. So in cogwheel and then name and then save name. First, I need to note those stats. It's true. You do need to know them. <laughs> um, chat, Twitch chat are saying that um, General Akbar has something to say about those raised platforms. I think what <laughs> he, I think what he has to say <laughs> is that those platforms couldn't withstand. Cavaliers of that magnitude. Ooh. Totes. Yeah. <laughs> Medium rare. Medium rare. <laughs> One, wonderful, wonderful. Yes, well, when the stakes are high, you can count on me to make a beef. Oh, my lord. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's probably why I... <laughs> Shouldn't be allowed to play a minute. So. Yeah, I request a ban. <laughs> Banned, kicked immediately. Okay, so I mean, you, you, come on, like you know, steak jokes like that—they're a, a rare medium. Well done. Did you did you look these up beforehand? <laughs> no, no, well that one I had read before, but the other one I hadn't. So I see. You're just bad. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. Um, <laughs> that's fantastic. Um, so, uh, the air, likewise, um, is present. It seems uh, that some air must come down uh, through cracks in the walls, uh, again, because there's no plaster layer, uh, or f um, just through gaps in doors and so forth, maybe through the gap in the, the gigantic door uh, that you saw previously. So, it isn't it isn't nice smelling air particularly, but it isn't particularly foul either. It's just air that hasn't been breathed in a long, long time. 
In case the air is uh, thin down here, I shall forego the luxury of breathing so that you all might use as much air as you like. I stop breathing. Sure. Thank you for your noble sacrifice. We appreciate your efforts. All right, I'm going to step in. Okay. Uh, you make a, a footprint in the dust. Uh, so as you step in, um, and we bring in Sancho Panza, so you're all on the map. Uh, for this dungeon, um, for this one shot, uh, we are going to be an initiative. Um, we are going to be an initiative for the vast majority of it. Uh, you're not necessarily in combat, but I do need you in initiative. That's where you're wrong. <laughs> I'm always in combat. <laughs> We will we will re-roll initiative uh, every encounter unless their enemies adding to an already an encounter that we're already fighting. In which case, we will not re-roll initiative. Um, we will does Sancho get his own turn in the initiative order, or does he just move on my turn? Uh, up to you. Uh, Sancho gets his, his own turn. He has a separate initiative modifier, and he is a sentient being who is not a companion. I was gonna say up to you, but no, no, it's not really. Uh, uh, pay. No attention um, to these other initiatives. They are not at all uh, scary, meaningful, or indeed um, anything. You just you can just uh, you can just not worry about them. Yeah, about that. Hmm. We know you well enough. To worry I'm, about it I'm just waiting for Vorden Rider. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> for, Wait, for have you got have you got initiatives of reverse tank order? Probably. Yeah, yeah, we did. <laughs> it's all right. They'll uh, they'll switch up when you go into combat. So don't worry about it. I'm sure, there's nothing dangerous in this corridor. Okay, so. Well, no, you want you want them to be this way around in combat. <laughs> okay. Crowman, you've got point. Is it wrong that I want to call him Crow Magnus? No, it's not wrong. I I found myself wanting to do that as well. <laughs> uh, call call me what Crow Mag? Crow 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 Magnus, yeah. Ah, he's, I guess he'd be fine with it. Uh, but what uh, Crowman is going to do is going to envelop everyone in shadow by spending two more key points and casting Pass Without Trace. Ooh. Okay. I thought you were casting darkness. I was about to get. I also. <laughs> I also uh, thought you were casting darkness. I'll admit, I also <laughs> thought you were casting darkness. <laughs> he has probably done it before, and others were not happy. But so he has learned. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Um. Hit the hit the pass without trace button. Uh. No. Do it. Okay. You're not the boss of me. I, I am. I'm the GM. <laughs> you're, you're the boss of this dungeon. You can't fire me. I don't work in this dungeon. Not yet, you don't. Until we hire you, and then we'll fire you immediately. <laughs> so you are hiring. That's right. Wait, shit. Okay. Put in my application. <laughs> there it is. There's my application. <laughs> That's not an application. Ah, abjuration. Cool. And it's a uh, thirty foot radius. Okay, I'm adding an aura. I will, I'll, I will create a aura. Don't worry, man. No, it's okay. I did it. There you go. Look at that. Yeah, okay, beautiful oh, aura. That, that's a very nice bright aura. Yeah. But it's not a shadow. But but it's abjuration. Yeah, yeah. Abjuration. <laughs> abjuration is red. Uh, what? It's, <laughs> it's not a shadow. Okay. I'll make it. I'll make it better. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, that is better. Okay. All right, so you you spend an action uh, to cast pass without trace. Wait, and, uh, ironically, uh, can can you hide as a bonus action? I can. I'm okay. not going to. Oh, you need I'm, to... In, I'm in full light. I think I need to be in not full light. To do that. Sure. I'll double check. But uh, what I will be doing first is I will move ahead. Okay. Up okay. to the first line, and I will not cross. Okay. So I do not trust these. Um, everybody's passive perceptions, um, I'm written down. 
uh, written down. Um, no one can see any indication of there being a trap installed. Um, that said, on, on the panel itself, the alcoves appear to be empty. They have plinth in, plinths in them, as if they were made to have statues standing on them. Um, uh, and uh, again, reports from other tombs suggest that animated armors and helmed horrors were encountered. Um, but these alcoves look like they never had the armor either delivered or installed or someone else has been in the tomb and destroyed them but you think it's more likely that they were never installed in the first place there's a thin um, even layer of dust uh, rice when you see it clearly you'll be able to confirm you're, you're pretty sure that there, there was never any statues there to begin with but it looks like they, they were made for statues Okay, so you move ahead to there. Or, uh, knowing that, do you move further ahead, or are you just going to stay there? Uh, I am going to move further ahead, seeing how it does appear to be. However, I will try to step over the platform, just in case. Okay. Uh, it, it is very quiet uh, as you move ahead. Um, uh, your footsteps are being muffled, um, and uh, only three of you are breathing. <laughs> so there is there is very little sound currently. Uh, it is, it is quite, it's okay, it is. we have a plant. He will convert our, our breaths back into breathable oxygen. Si, senor. I Thank become you. the shadow, moving into one of the Sure. Uh, as, as, you you move, as you move into the alcove, um, you can feel uh, the sort of slight breeze of air through the cracks in the walls. Um, so you, you understand now where, where the air in this place is coming from. They're not they're not big enough to see through or anything, but you can you can feel a very slight draft. I see. So enough air is coming through that we can all breathe. Including Sancho without dying. Correct. You think? Correct. Actually we should be fine with Sancho alone. Uh I mean theoretically <laughs> San uh, as long as Sancho didn't die from lack of light. Um, then uh, really? Sa Sancho could theoretically provide you with a... Yeah, I, I don't know how... I, I presume magical light could potentially provide a plant with enough light. I, I'd imagine it's a bit like magical plant, light. So it could be like magical light powers magic. Mm. <laughs> magic. Magic powers magic. Yeah, I like that principle. Yeah, maybe. Uh, okay, uh, are you doing anything else, Kremen? Are you drawing a weapon or anything like that? Nope. My weapons are my, my fists. Oh, that's true. My power is my stealth. Guess. Okay. It's my edge. <laughs> your power is your edge. <laughs> <laughs> my stealth is my edge. Oh, that's fantastic. Did you not want to hide as a bonus action? Uh, I cannot hide as a bonus action. That's what the rog rogues do, and I'm not. I'm, I was wondering I'm, how you were doing it. I, I wondered if you'd multi-classed or something. Um, no. If you were one of that edge, I could go invisible. I mean, you could teleport as well. You could teleport if you're here. Yeah, exactly. Good bonus action teleport. No. I'm not rushing ahead. I'm Crow Man. I'm a shadow that talks. I need someone to stalk. Come on, guys. Sure. Okay. Uh, Reese. Right. Yeah, no. Saying that Crow man walked all the way up there and it was fine. Uh, Reese is going to kind of slowly walk up as well to here. Oh, okay. Yep, it's 30 feet. <clears throat> That's it. Job's done. Okay, not casting a spell or anything like that. Uh, no. Sure. Okay. Um, so again, um, you can see more alcoves that appear to be, um, uh, they appear to have plinths in them, uh, that seem to be, um, ready for statues. Uh, your footsteps are still being muffled, um, by the aura of shadows around you. Do you want to stealth? You could spend your action to stealth if you wanted to. Uh, sure. I'll try it. So uh, ahead of you, oh, incidentally. That's not the right roll. Sorry. No, it is Sorry. not. But you can I keep missed, the. You know, you can, keep, you can keep the twenty. You can keep the twenty. Okay. So you. Uh, so and this is twenty-four. This is one of the uh, house rules uh, for people watching um, that I use uh, in this game. Uh, if you roll a twenty, uh, you gain inspiration. 
um, the uh, spendable uh, resource that you can only have one of unless it's Christmas um, to uh, give yourself uh, advantage on a roll beforehand. Uh, if you roll a one on a natural 20, um, you lose any inspiration you currently have, so it's a good idea to spend it. Um, it's a 34, yep, because of Pass Without Trace. Uh, also, because it was my birthday recently, one of the monsters in the dungeon has started with inspiration. <laughs> that, that, cool. that stacks because it's birthday inspiration. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Okay, cool. So you are very, very stealth currently. Um, obviously, it won't protect you if someone just looks directly at you, um, but in terms of like hearing you... Um, be your your own companions can you can barely hear yourself. <laughs> you can hear Kuma. You can hear because he he's like I'm so stealthy as he announces that he's I'm really stealthy over here. Look at Heidi. <laughs> I am Crowman. I hide in the shadow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, incidentally, looking down the corridor further uh, now that you've walked further, um, what your sight is being blocked by um, down this corridor. Um, is a rather large door. Um, said rather large door um, uh, has a rather large lock in the middle of it and otherwise appears to be a stone door um, with a giant keyhole in. Um, the uh, uh, keyhole uh, appears to be made of iron. It is a double door ahead and it is currently closed. Sorokov. Sam. So, oh, Frank. Hello, Frank. Hello. Hashtag YOLO. Um, I mean, this would be true if we did not live in a world where miracles can happen and the clerics can raise the dead. In I fact, appreciate... I your literalness. I, I myself am built from the body parts of many of the deceased, given life again. Alright, I am convinced. I'm just going to walk down here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let your dreams be dreams, Sam. You do what you want. Yeah. Okay, you walk down. Your footsteps disturb the dust. They are somewhat muffled. You see the alcoves. You feel the draft. Otherwise, and then I'm going to dash... The rest of the okay. Uh, as you move to the edge, um, as you step out of the aura, you can hear yourself a lot more now. Um, let's see what you can see. Yeah, I uh, think I'm still kind of technically in the aura. Maybe uh, you are like, sort of both in and out of the aura currently. Um, so one so one have... foot is louder than the other. Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, and yeah, so you're a lot closer to the door now. Um, you think that uh, the uh, metal around, the, the metal lock in this door ahead of you uh, is is quite big. It's the size of like someone's like the hole is the size of someone's hand. Um, the door itself appears to be relatively sturdy. There don't appear to be any handles on it. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, otherwise um, you can't, can't see any traps ahead of you or on the door. Um, just appears to be a big locked door with a big iron keyhole. Uh, Frank. All uh, right. Uh, question: How how does moving stealthily work? So, uh, once you've taken an action to hide, you can move normally. You can even dash while you're stealth. Um, if uh, you are detected by someone, you have to break line of sight with them uh, and sort of. They, they, they need to be, you need to put yourself back in a position where you, so, they could theoretically be unaware of your presence, at which point you can then make another hide check. And so I can't just try to move forwards quietly. Yeah. Uh, uh, you are always way. moving quietly because um, your footsteps are muffled. Yeah, you just, need to, you just need to spend an action to start off to, uh, uh. to, to move quietly. It's, it's yeah, you considering yeah. it and then moving quietly. One, two, three, four, six. Uh, I was looking at the range of a thing. Uh, not good enough. Okay, uh, is the answer? One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Okay. Uh, you see much the same things as Sam. Why am I, ha- why am I ahead of Sam? I don't know. M- maybe I failed to count correctly. You did, Sam. Yeah, you should have had okay. one. Okay. I am no longer half quiet. No, you are not. Um, yeah, the other reason the shrub will need its own turn, uh, thinking about it, is uh, it has a, it's, it's slower than you. <laughs> it has a 20 foot speed. Yeah, that's everything. A shrub can walk. Oh that's my lord. Event. I mean, that makes sense. It makes sense. Look at that. It's, it's right. It, it does not move. No, no, it moves. It just uh, gets there. Please wait, senor. Come, Sancho. Okay. Before it moves, actually, though. So I just noticed something. I've been playing on Roll20 for uh, I don't even know how long, and I just now noticed that. Okay. What did you notice? Like when you when, when you roll with the dice roller, the little die that shows up in the chat is the same color as your color that you've selected on the thing. Mm-hmm. Ooh. I never noticed that. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Cool. Uh, now That's you a fun little thing that they do. Sancho moves. Chroma. Chroma moves out. Okay. Hmm. Like I say, giant door ahead of you. Appears to have a giant iron lock in it. Um, otherwise made of stone. No handles. No traps that anyone can see. Closed. Currently. We'll move back my feet. I need to stay in the shadows. And, um... Hmm. I think how it might as well be best for me to observe. I... I would like, from this distance, uh, both uh, front uh, people have full uh, light, so I can see it clearly. Can I have a perception check on that big lock? See if there's any neat inter- intricacies to buy. Sure. Not. It's a lot. Not, not that you can see from here. That is fair. I will wait. Head on. <laughs> All right, gonna sneak on up. One, two, three, four, five, six. That sure is a lock. I don't think we have any way to open locks. Oh dear. Hmm. This would be a good time to find out that Crowman has the criminal background. <laughs> <laughs> I fight for justice, not not bad. I come equipped with a set of lock pit. Are they your fists? Oh, wonderful! <laughs> it just pops the arm off, and there's a set of lock picks instead of a bone. Did you actually take it? Did I actually take what? Lock, uh, thieves tools. Yeah, they're part of my body. Oh, cool. Oh, you. Oh, are you that version of Warforged? Yeah, I'm an envoy. Oh, oh yeah, I mean, I mean, that makes sense. Cool. Okay. Nice. Okay. In that case, I'm done. Sure. Sam? I'm going to walk up to the door. Okay. You reach the door. Uh, I have made it to the door. Congratulations. I, I'm going to look at the Okay. Uh, you can roll either perception or investigation. I will roll what I'm better at. Seems legit. Uh, okay, um, so uh, looking inside the lock, 
Uh, you can see that it is a two-part lock in the sense that you think that there essentially there is a lock on either side of the door and that there is a plate in between uh, so that you can't look through the keyhole without like destroying a part of inside of the lock. Um, that said, you can see very faintly at the edges of your vision as you sort of crane your neck um, that this lock does appear to be quite intricate. Like you can see many tumblers. It is quite an intricate lock. It also looks like it is sized for a specific key. It looks like it is sized for a specific key. Did, did we bring a key? Should we check the alcoves? Mm -hmm. Is there is there a rock out front? Like maybe they hid the key under the rock, or like a dorm. <laughs> I come with the set of lock picks. That's fantastic. Okay, Frank, I believe in you. You got this. Okay. In which case, uh, Frank. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Bless you. I'll move up. And I will attempt to pick the lock. Okay. What's well, uh, just so because I, I can work out how long this takes. Um, you can you can roll a check if you want to. Um, yeah, roll, roll a check first. Okay. Uh, can I use a stat other than dexterity? Uh, you can use intelligence. They're both bad. Okay. I was really hoping you'd say charisma or what? constitution. Ha explain to me how you can use charisma or constitution to pick a lock. It's okay, part of so his body. Constitution so. is part of my body. Uh huh. Here. Uh huh. Yeah. So the, just yeah, like yeah, just yeah. like it would be like. Um, Are you resisting the effect of the lock on you? Is that what you're doing? The lock well, is a uh, virus, and he's fighting it. Exactly. And I am the it's, cure. It's, <laughs> well, it's the lock and key mechanism which is used in your immune system. It's the same sort of thing. It's built on the same principles as my immune system. Um, in the uh, dungeon of uh, biological horrors of Doctor uh, Doctor Death, that might well be the case. But uh, unfortunately, this is the Vault of Terrors, and uh, these locks are Dex or Intelligence based. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, that does not pick the lock. Uh, with a plus seven, uh, you think uh, it is going to take you some time. Like, we're mm. talking days? No, it, no, 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 minutes at, at most, probably. But but it, it is going to take you a few tries. It's possible. you got about... It's, it's DC 25, so... Uh. It's cool. Why are you doing that? Um... Uh, uh, sure. Um, Sancho will move up. Ah, welcome, son. Uh, hello, senor. What do you wish me to do? I wish you to as if the wind was blowing. You wish me to what? Rustle as if the wind w was blowing. Oh, I see. Rustle, 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 rustle. Ah, very atmospheric. Thank you, senor. Your compliments no, to be proud. You. If you step into one of the alcoves, there is fresh air flowing through the cracks. Frankie, you do... You are able to breathe here. We will not run out of air. You realize, Frankie, at this point, that one of the things that might have been causing you problems with regards to lockpicking was you synced it to the rhythm of your breathing, uh, and you're not breathing currently. Maybe that'll help. Okay. Uh, Crowman, uh, you're outside of 20 feet of people with light, so if you want to, you could, you could stealth now. I've, I will look for a key. Stay quiet as I move away. Uh, I'll, I'll take a hide action. Sure. And I will start looking through the alcoves, one by one. Okay, give me an investigation check. Sure. Okay. 
Okay. Um, what's your speed? Uh, 50 feet. Okay. Um, you check uh, this alcove, this alcove, and this alcove, uh, mm -hmm. and you can find no keys. See? In that case, I'll move up to this alcove and I'll continue the search next. Sure. Uh, give me a stealth roll as well. Sure. Great. I am. I am so stealthy. People who are stealthed as well. Um, so that's a twenty-three. Uh, people yeah. who are stealth currently. Uh, can you put your stealth score with an S in right. the same place you put your passive perception, please? That will ensure I remember it. Thank you. Okay, that doesn't happen. Reese. Right. Well, I if I give bardic inspiration to Frank. Mm-hmm. Will that make this process faster? Yes. I will inspire you with a very quiet little violin song. <laughs> a very quiet very violin quiet. song. <laughs> <laughs> you play, you play a <laughs> tiny little bit of Vivaldi's Seasons. <laughs> I just get like and it's done. <laughs> wow, that's uh, that's pretty fantastic. Uh, okay, um, I'm very good at barding. <laughs> so that barter. That's uh, that's a bonus action. Do you want to do anything else? Do you want to move? Um, yeah, I'll just move to over here. I was kind of wait, wait for the door to open. Sure. Sabarka, is that what you're doing also? Yeah, I'm just waiting. Okay, not casting anything or anything. I don't have anything to cast. Sure, makes sense. Frank, give me another Thieves Tools check. You'll get it this time, I'm sure. Uh, remembering that, what's your Bardic Inspiration dice, Reese? Uh, it's a D8 right now, unfortunately. Okay, so if, you need, multi -class. if you need to, you can spend a D8. Ah, okay. Um, do you want to spend the D8? Hey. hey! Okay. Uh, perhaps inspired. I don't know why you'd be inspired by the, the violin solo. <laughs> you can come up with a reason yourself. Um, but yep, uh, as an action, um, you pick the lock. Uh, as you pick the lock, um, and this will be the case with all of this variety of door, um, these doors open automatically when you unlock them. Uh, okay. Uh, as it starts to open, then I want to try and hold it shut. Okay. Um, give me a sleight of hand check. Not an athletics check. No. It is a sleight of hand check. Okay. Uh, you weren't expecting it, so this time you weren't able to catch it. Uh, next time, uh, if you want to, you can use a strength athletics check to try and sort of. Um, wedge something into the bottom of the door before you start. Okay. Okay. The doors swing open. And you see this. What is that? It is this. It appears to be a stone statue, approximately five feet tall, uh, with that pattern of uh, triangles, an eye, and what could be a nose or a mouth, you're not sure, or maybe an eyelid, it's a, it's a bit weird, um, on the bottom of it. It doesn't do anything or glow or react or anything, but it appears to be standing in the center of the corridor uh, behind the door. Um, I think I know what this is. I think this is a staring contest. I will handle it. <laughs> uh, incidentally, um, people listening along at home uh, with regards to the soundtrack, uh, you may now change your soundtrack to uh, level two <laughs> of the Link's Awakening uh, soundtrack. Okay. Uh, 
So that that was an that was an interact and oh no, that wasn't an interact. That was an action. Uh, you still have an interact, a bonus action, and a move. I will, I will, I will move. Yeah. Okay. One. Hmm. Wait, am I supposed to be able to see like bits behind the wall a bit? Uh, unfortunately, the advanced fog of war since they updated it. Um, it has been letting you see sort of like squares. Can you can you see like squares over here, sort of thing? Yeah. Yeah, and it's unfortunate, but yeah, it, it seems to be a a bug that they haven't got rid of yet. Mm. There are two doors. There are indeed. These doors uh, appear to be made of stone. They look unfinished, like the other doors. In fact, most of the doors in this dungeon will look unfinished. Um, they do not have giant locks in them. They have stone handles. Uh, they are single doors rather than double doors, a bit like the entrance doors. Um, and uh, with your passive perception, you can see what look like maybe clawed footprints over here near the near this door but no mm. footprints near this door they don't look recent either the north door uh has uh someone has been recently moving a fancy armoire in that direction i think we should move this way hashtag eat the rich <laughs> Oh, that's my turn. Okay. Also, um, Frank, I'm going to whisper something to you. Okay. Uh, Senor, uh, do you wish me to advance? Yes, tell me, go learn about that statue. Walks right up to the statue, looks at it. It appears to be a stone statue with an eye carved into it. Thank you very much. I will note this in the log. I pull out the Enduring Spellbook, and I wrote that. Sure. <laughs> uh, so... That was 15, so he'll go 20, so he gets out of people's way. I see you haven't locked the door. Got a seven. Let us go. I have. Okay. 50. And there's a door mm -hmm. in front of me, and there's a door where Frank. Uh, mm. correct. I will inspect the door. Sure. Using my action. Perception, I imagine? Yep. Yeah. Hmm. I struggle. Uh, it appears to be a stone door, unfinished, with plates on it for carving that were never carved. Um, there is a handle, there is no lock. Straightforward. Good, good. We can move this way as well. Yes, but that's where they were moving furniture, so we will not go that way. You see, then let us stick together, and I will stalk you from behind. 
I really wish you wouldn't say it like that. Ha 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 ha. Don't worry, the shadows are friendly. Than they are with me. For I am Chroma. Fantastic. I end my turn. You guys can have fun now. Okay. Um, so, uh, as you say that, uh, the shadows are friendly. Um, the shadows around you uh, suddenly become very slimy. Mickey, grotesque. Uh, what is this? The floor uh, rapidly becomes quite slimy. <laughs> Sancho, um, what did you do? I, I did nothing. I, I, I don't know why this is happening. Um, it is sort of sticky as well. Um, uh, it is uh, difficult to rain. As it, it's sort of like the the floor sort of melt almost melts slightly it becomes like a sort of there's like a, a layer of thick rock sort of set, uh, it's like a viscous liquid on top of the floor sticks to your boots uh, just as a heads up we do not leave any footprints while we are in my aura Um, so I'm just gonna mark that on. To the area I'm marking on. The ground is sticky and slimy. People see that? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Mm. It's a yes. big area. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Reese. Well, I guess I'll start moving. Through the sticky slime. Gotta catch up. One, two. Is it like difficult terrain? It is difficult terrain, yeah. Three. <laughs> I'll dash. Okay. Four. Five. I'll stay there. I don't know which way to go from there. Sure. Um, anything else? Uh. No? no. Okay. I'm good. I'm uh, just whisper you something. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Uh, also. Yeah, okay. Uh, Savarkov. Okay, we're gonna follow Frank. Okay. Excuse me, excuse me, it's sticky. Excuse me. As uh, Sam steps over the threshold uh, that was there for the uh, key door that you've just unlocked, uh, Reese, you hear it first, uh, but everybody else, you hear it as well. Um, the door to the tomb up above rumbles closed. With a locking sound. Ah, see, that's the bit I was wondering about. So if, well, that's not great. Sounds like double, triple, quadruple locking. Lots of locks engaging multiple times. Bars. It's like a, it's like a vault door closing. Probably even a siren. So I will stop there and wait. There's not very much room here. Cool. Uh, Frank. Uh, I'll spend 10 foot of movement to go here. Okay. Um, 
and open the store, I guess. Sure. So, as you open this door, oh. you see a number of things. And a number of things see you. Uh, so, uh, anyone who wants to, uh, who's uh, following along um, with the playlist, um, you can use uh, Mini Boss Battle from uh, Link's Awakening uh, for this probable fight. But we'll see. <laughs> it's uh, Frank opening the door. He's a peaceful man. So, the first thing you can see is appearing before your very eyes on the ground, etched in lines of apparently being written as you watch them, blue light, uh, a strange series of circles and lines that, that look like they mean something, complicated sort of glyphs. Uh, does your helm of comprehend language comprehending languages, is, is it always on? I believe so, I'll double check. Um, and are you attuned to it if it needs attuning? Yeah, yeah. Okay. If it is on currently, then you can read it. If it isn't, then they look like extremely complicated. I can cast comprehend languages. Right. Well. Okay. It, it looks like it might be a language. Like it looks like it means something. Um, and they sort of hover in the air. They're pretty obviously, if they're not illusory, then they're they're somewhat unreal and translucent. Uh, and they mm. look like they look on the map. There are four. Um, if, if, yeah. if I can cast it at will and it lasts an hour, uh, there's mm -hmm. probably no reason I wouldn't have cast it before coming in. So it's alright if we say it's on. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so, uh, the glyphs say, A child's nightmare. Okay. Uh, and as they write, um, let me just really quickly check something. Just dividing something up. Um, okay. Uh, as they write in the air, uh, as if being composed in front of you, um, they read, Through long nursery nights he stood by my bed unwearying. However, <coughs> I suspect Frank's attention is much as this is interesting, um, somewhat taken um, by the creature that is turning to regard you behind these glyphs. This creature. Okay. Uh, also, uh, everybody, uh, you hear a sort of... Um, uh, again, there's a, uh, if you're following along with the soundtrack, uh, and for you guys as well, um, there is a particular sound that I will link to you, uh, that you all hear. It's like a doot doot, oh no, I, I can't, oh, damn, I don't have a sound for it. Um, let me... It's a series of uh, sort of tones. Um, I'm so just imagining the John Cena thing now. Ha <laughs> ha No, 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 no. Um, here we go. Uh, no. I'll, fi I'll find it for the next time. Spooky. It, it, it sounds like a... Yeah, a series of uh, low... Uh, tones as if played by like tubular but tubular bells, probably three tones rising and then falling. Um, but yeah, so this creature turns to regard you. 
Um, it seems to be hovering above the ground. Uh, this chamber uh, with the pillars um, seems to be higher uh, than the ceilings in the corridor. The ceiling in the corridor was uh, 10 feet high. Uh, in this chamber, the ceiling is 30 feet high. Uh, it is not quite 30 feet high. Um, it's hovering in the 20 to 25 and the 25 to 30 squares. Um, but it's not like bumping against the ceiling. Um, as you see it, uh, you can roll an arcana check, Frank. Uh, you don't recognize it. Okay. Um, it turns to regard you. And since you can comprehend languages currently, uh, you understand what it says. Uh, to everyone else, um, people listening along at home, it seems to be speaking um, in uh, a sort of, um, I, I want to say old Norse. Um, it, it is, it is a, a Norse language, a sort of a North Germanic language. Um, in character, it, it's, it's speaking in undercommon. Um, and um, I think what it says is hello okay. does comprehend languages let me know what doesn't let me know what language they're speaking in that bit, right? uh, no you could roll an intelligence check to figure it out yeah I'm fine okay. um, oh, I may as well I'm all fine uh, who are you? Yeah, you think it's speaking under common. Okay, I will do a, do a sort of slow wave, point at myself and say, Frank, you, I say pointing at it. What language are you speaking in? Common, I'll start in. Okay. I don't understand you. Uh, um... Do you speak primordial? I say in primordial. I still don't understand you. It hovers a little closer, as if to get a better look at you. Are there others out there? Um, I'll nod. They can come in if they like. Uh... Hey guys, there's someone in here. Seems pretty chill. I mean, if they're like you, then I'm not interested in them. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a move for me. And oh, there's another one of these guys. Yep. Uh, behind uh, and below him. Uh, there is another of these stones. Hmm. Um, I'll point to myself again. Say, Frank. In, in what line? Oh, okay, right. Uh, yeah, you can roll a, a performance check. It blinks slightly. Doesn't say anything. Um. Okay. Are you doing anything else? Um. Think so. Um, okay. I guess I'll take the dodge action. Sure, makes sense. You don't know what it is. Uh, it sees you looking warily and says, "Don't worry, I'm not interested in eating you." Oh, okay.
Huh. Uh, let's see what people can see, I guess. Can you see that? No. <laughs> okay. Good to know. And interesting. Alright, Sancho is not going to do anything until other people um, do anything, I think. Chroma. Hmm. I will move up to race. Okay. And then we'll say, I will follow you. What you do is what I do. Is that okay? Oh, uh, Theo, you're breaking up for me. Hang on. Try again. Mm, okay. Uh, Bradley, are you talking? <laughs> uh, Bradley, try reconnecting as well. Okay. Is that better? Yeah, that is better. All right. Yeah, that was on my end. Sorry. Um, I said. Yes, we should probably go rescue Frank from whatever is in there. Uh, <laughs> I agree. Uh, meanwhile, I am observing the walls, so I know the floor is sticky. How are the walls sticky? Um, that's a good question. Let me find out the answer for you. No, only the floor. Okay. In that case, if I uh, I've already an action to move, um, uh, following Greece, but while still keeping uh, out of sight of uh, whatever that is, so most likely moving to here, to the Svara, uh, Svarakov is currently, uh, and if I need to move quickly, I will use the walls to move because I can run on the walls. Cool, good idea. Otherwise, for this turn. That it. I know I'm not doing much. That's why I live in the shadows. That's okay. <laughs> That's why you live in the shadows. Uh, you, you got compared to uh, the Lego Batman in chat, by the way, which I, I think is a real <laughs> high, high <laughs> compliment. <laughs> I agree. It was an inspiration. I was wondering how long it will take for people to put it together. <laughs> I, got, I, got the, I got the Batman. Fantastic. Uh, I even said I'm Crowman. All the time. Let me see if that's is that the right size. That is the right size. Okay. Can anybody see that? Can, can anybody see the thing that you would instantly be able to see if you knew what I was talking about? Hmm. You know, sure can't. If it's three white squares in a diagonal line, then yes. No, it's not. Cool. 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 Good to know. Uh, okay. So, where are you going, Chroma? Uh. I am ready in an action to move it to Svarakov's position, but no further. Sure. Ready. Okay. Okay. Uh, the floor um, is uh, no longer slimy. It gradually solidifies. I will no longer run the wall because that is unnecessary. Uh, in fact, uh, you want to do the opposite of running on walls uh, because uh, in the corridor suddenly out of the walls um, what appear to be grasping black tentacles begin to phase out of them rippling and squirming. Uh, can everybody aside from Frank give me a <coughs> give me a dexterity saving throw, please? Yeah, thanks, Don. Who needs rescuing? Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Reese uh, and Croman, you avoid uh, the tentacles as they they reach out of the walls and grasp at people. Uh, Svarakov, um, several of them wrap around you and grapple you. Sancho, what are these? <laughs> Sancho, Sancho rolls his own save. <laughs> I, I, I do not know, Senor, but they seem to be grappling me and breaking my branches. That is very rude of them. Yes, indeed. Uh, I would like them to stop. Hello, wall monster. Stop. You are distressing us. Uh, at which point, as you, as you call that out, even muffled, um, the creature in the chamber can hear that. Um, Frank, uh, its eyes, its eye glows for a second. Its tentacles writhe as if worried, and it says, um, "The, the dreamer has awoken." I, I, I must have sacrifice. I must have sacrifice for him before he fully wakes. I am sorry, intruder. Uh, uh, you're muted, Bradley, if you're talking. Um, I am sorry, intruder. Uh, you do not appear uh, to have blood, but I nevertheless must take you as sacrifice. Or it will be my head as well. Will we be voting initiative now? Yes, please. Okay. It's okay. You'll get the effects of your dodge that way, Bradley. Ah, that's true. Exactly where I'm used to being in the initiative. <laughs> <laughs> What an amazing initiative roll. Um, okay. Uh, you made a mistake. I made a mistake? No, we made a mistake. Oh, yes. Why, did, why didn't we name uh, Sancho Piranha? Piranha? What? Piranha plant. Oh, no. <laughs> the memes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. To be fair, Sancho is probably a stronger meme. That's... Um this on just to represent the tentacles they're actually coming out of the walls rather than the floor but they're coming out of the goddamn walls they are coming out of the goddamn walls uh, this isn't happening man this isn't happening no no it is it is happening oh dear i can't see much of that but what i can see looks scary it just keeps getting bigger and bigger because uh, it oh is. My. <laughs> oh, oh my. That's okay, you guys deal with the tentacles. I'll solo this death's kiss. <laughs> I'm sure there's nothing wrong with it with a name like that. I think you can do it. I think I can, actually. I think I. You probably can. I, I'm, I'm resistant to electric damage. I It'll think be just... considerably harder to solo um, than fight as a party, but yeah, you can. Yeah, that's about right. Oh, I think it might be one more. Up. Dead goals. Uh, people with the symbol that Svarakov and uh, Sancho have on them currently, uh, you, you are grappled. Everyone else, uh, you are not. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, we're just going to move that down one as well because that accurately effect reflects where it is. Yeah. Um, so, initiative. Uh, people following along with the soundtrack. Um, the, uh, yeah, so you can use mini boss battle for this one, or boss battle. That would work too. Um, now that it's apparently. <laughs> uh, okay, Reese. Alright, I'm going to draw my longsword and try to cut the tentacles off of 
I guess Svarkov. Okay. Uh, Although Sanchez attack grappled too. Roll an Arcana check before you do that. Okay. Arcana. It's pretty good. Good. Okay. Uh, they appear to be partially unreal. Uh, like they're made of shadow. Uh, you think attacking them will basically do nothing. Okay. Okay. Plan B is to get out of it. <laughs> it's difficult terrain, I'm assuming? Uh, no, actually. Um, so if you're not grappled, uh, then you, as you you can run and dodge grapples, uh, dodge the appendages. Um, we... Although, talking of which, before you do that, let me just check. Oh, okay. You did start your turn in it, though, so you will need to give me another deck saving throw. Oh, no! Cursed by your own initiative. Okay. Let's see. Dexterity saving throw. Ah, okay. So you, you get about two feet, good. and then you're grabbed. And shoot. Okay. A, a tentacle wraps around your uh, chest, and then two wrap around your arms, and you, you can't move. One snakes around your leg. Um, they feel solid enough, but they don't look very solid. Okay. Um, I'm going to cast Bless on the people right here who I can see. Seems legit. Including uh, Sancho? I... Sancho oh, no. is a... <laughs> Sorry. Sancho. Sancho is a person. <laughs> He's got Sancho stats. Is a... Sancho is a tree. He's a shrub. If we ever meet ants, it will be great. Okay. Oh, bless. Cool. Hashtag bless. Hashtag bless. Okay. Um... Yep, okay. So uh, we'll use the Wings and Halo for Bless. And we'll put that in chat. Uh, we'll put that in the uh, initiative as well, on a plus one. Um, remember, you're concentrating on something. Don't cast any other concentration spells. Uh, otherwise, However, I will be sad. I play a wizard. I know this. I mean, do you? <laughs> <laughs> I play a wizard who rarely concentrates. Yeah, that's I what I like. It. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, I guess that's it. Yep, the tentacles keep on springing out of the walls and writhing around and trying to grab people. Are they just grabbing? Uh, they, they don't appear to be attacking. They just seem to be trying to like grapple and hold people in place. Okay. Making a deck save. Okay. You pass. The floor isn't difficult terrain anymore, so. Hmm. As much as shadows are necessary, I must move into the darkness myself. Uh, I will uh, move uh, past everyone. Sure. And I see. Ah! That's a big creature. He is. And the Frankenstein's there, too. I will step out. Sure. Okay. Um, so you're currently breaking stealth, but as long as you attack before the end of the round, you'll get advantage on your first attack. The uh, monster seems to be um, um, reaching uh, what appear to be teethed tentacles um, towards uh, Frank. Um, mm -hmm. You can roll an arcana check as you see it. I will. Uh, does Frank look like he is uh, uh, engaging in battle? Uh, Frank, well, I mean, Bradley can describe it, but I, Frank is currently dodging. So he is avoiding the tentacles. Yeah, I sort of imagine how he's got sort of like a boxer's star to sort of play to bob and weave if he needs to. Do. Well, I have moved 30 feet. In that case. Uh, I'll, I'll quickly whisper to Frank. Frank, are we doing this? We don't have to fight him. We I see. Then I am one of the shadows. You don't have uh, to fight me, he says in a language Crowman I don't think understands. Uh, does Crowman understand under common? 
Nope. Okay, so gib, uh, uh, Norse gibberish to you. Uh, to Frankenstein, though, he says uh, uh, to both of you, we don't have to fight. You can surrender, and I can offer you as tribute. I will have to kill you first, but you can surrender. It would be better than fighting the dreamer. Uh, I'm going to roll insight. Sure. If you want me to attack, you just say so. Um, uh, it um... is uh, extremely difficult um, to uh, read um, this floating blob of teeth, <laughs> tentacles w with an eye. That said, uh, the one impression you do get is that the, the um, creature seems terrified of whoever this dreamer is. Like its eyes so looking backwards and forward. Try, my plan was to try and hug it out. So do I reckon that's not going to uh, It's going to hug you. <laughs> <laughs> that's not the way to put it. <laughs> and and that, is, that is its end goal, in fact. It's just uh, I don't think you're going to like the end result of hugging it out. Okay. Um, also, one second. Uh, oh, Crow Man, what languages do you read? Uh, human... Uh, well, common uh -huh. and draconic. Okay, you don't recognize like the glyphs look like a language, but you don't understand them. I see. Uh, so, are you readying an attack, or did you dash? Uh, I only moved, uh, so I can ready an attack. Thing is, I want. Uh, I would prefer to bonus action, uh, shadow step, and ten attack. You can't ready that. Exactly. So, Frank, you have one second to the side. Uh, no, I think actually we are in a lot of danger. <laughs> well, that's at me! Uh, it means. <laughs> you are we all might doomed! Have to fight. <laughs> fight! Okay, we fight! Shadow envelops me! Okay. And I am the shadow! You are the knight! Where is she? I said the word might. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> okay, um, so it is still flying. So, uh. You teleport. Uh, how high. Wait, it's flying? How high flying? Sorry. It is, uh, in this 20 to 25 feet and 25 to 30 feet squares. I cannot reach that. Oh. Okay. I thought you had a plan. But okay. No. All no. right. <laughs> I'm going to stay back there, then. If I can't reach it, I'm not even considering attacking it. <laughs> you ranged attack it. I could, tele I could teleport up to it and then fall down. You could fall on it, yeah. You could. <laughs> not on it. Next. Uh, you could... I could fall on it. You could... Because uh, you can only take reactions when you're falling. Uh, you could uh, ready an attack and then bonus action teleport and take the attack as a reaction as you fall past it. Quite strong. It's very Batman. It's it's very much Crow Man. I yeah I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will do that then. Sure. Because I do have protections against falling. Okay, so this is uh, just an attack action. So just your your two attacks rather than flurry or anything. Sure. Like yeah. Okay, uh, your first one has advantage as well because you're striking for stealth. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I. I... <laughs> Okay, this is going to sound real bad. I should have probably created an unarmed strike. Oh, lordy lord. <laughs> uh, yes, you should have. <laughs> I should have. Okay, I use dex. There's one d4. Doesn't go up any time, does it? Uh, your dice do go up at certain levels, yeah. Oh, they do, yes. Uh, ah, one more level and would have been d8. Yeah, I, th I think they're d6 at the moment. That's that's why I was saying about the shillelagh, because, um, not shillelagh, the... Quarter staff, because if you two hand a quarter staff, it does d8 damage. Mm. But uh, your your weapons are your fists. So. Okay, so you're breaking stealth. And you're using. Oh wait, that's a normal attack. Oh, okay. And you have a plus d4 to. Um, I have a blast, yes, but I will not use it. Okay. Uh, well, uh, twenty one is a hit. Dealing damage. Uh, so you're hitting it with a melee attack. Um, yep. But you're using an attack that uses bludgeoning damage. Uh, so uh, you punch it. Um, 
and uh, it doesn't seem to resist your punch. Um, mm. You just sort of plunge your hand into it, and uh, uh, when you uh, uh, sort of uh, you don't plunge your hand into it, when you punch it with the sort of bludgeoning damage, you like it causes an extremely dark bruise, like a spot, uh, to appear on its flesh. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, what's your passive perception? Uh, my me- my melee attacks are magic. Just yep. To check. Yep. I know. Um, I, like I say, it doesn't seem to resist it. Um, nice. A roll again. Uh, this time without what? advantage. Come on. Just, uh, hey. That's a hit. And yeah, you That's do still hit. have less. Uh, once again, um, cause another bruise. Uh, punch into it. It doesn't seem particularly phased by those those strikes, but uh, you've hurt okay. it. Uh, and then and then, fall. Yes, you do. But you've got a slow fall, right? Yes. So you slow fall down the wall, and you're fine. Oh my god, <laughs> slow fall was actually useful. I know, right? <laughs> uh, the downside is you leave its reach. Uh, so it does get an attack. No. Well, you don't need its reach voluntarily, though, so it does. He does leave its reach voluntarily. He intended to do that. <laughs> he intended to fall past it and hit yeah, it. Yeah, gravity is forced it, motion. It was my plan to fall out. Uh, his intention, were he able to choose, would be to stay in its reach, but gravity has... Everyone flight. would love to fly, but they can't, mm-hmm. and he know he knew that before he did it. However, just like I predicted, uh, he misses. Yeah, so uh, the uh, the tentacle lashes out towards you, but uh, you uh, uh, flip around the wall, Metroid, uh, Samus Aran style, and uh, it just lashes across the wall. Grasp into the shadows and touch nothingness. As I fly down the wall. Nice. Uh, Sancho is grappled. <laughs> um, what happens if you start grappled? Mm-hmm. Sancho, liberate yourself. He, uh, si, senor. He tries. He nearly succeeds. Like, he really, really tries. If he if if he didn't have that minus one penalty from literally being an awakened shrub, he would have succeeded. <laughs> but he does, so he he doesn't unfortunately liberate himself. Curses. Okay, but uh, okay, so oh that's interesting. Okay, so um, <coughs> on, on the plus side, um, uh, Frank, um, you potentially won't be attacked uh, this turn. Mm. Potentially, uh, because a, a target that has blood uh, has just come within the range of this monster. I mean, I have blood. Do you have blood, or do you have alchemical fluids that are replicated as blood? Both. Yeah, blood. He keeps it in a jar around his neck. Do you actually have blood? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, I mean, I have someone's blood. <laughs> I probably don't, because I don't need to breathe. Fra- Frankenstein's monster or was eat. assembled from corpse parts. Yeah, I don't need to eat or breathe though, which implies to me I don't have blood. Yeah, but Warf- I am still Warforged vulnerable. Don't have blood. To- I am still vulnerable to poison though. Okay, well, um, tell you what, you have enough blood to be negatively affected by it, but not enough blood to get any positives out of it. There we go. Okay. <laughs> sure. It's still going to start with Croman though, because Croman's actually hurting. Uh, so, Crowman, a tendril lashes towards you and misses. Uh, you dodge uh, as you acrobatically dodge. Another one stabs to where you are and hits, probably. Ah, it does. Okay, it wraps around you and grapples you, hoisting you slightly into oh. the air. So, you, you can't run or run on the wall because it's holding you. Um, uh, so, you're also restrained. Currently, uh, and you mm-hmm. take 16 piercing damage. Oh, hurtful. Uh, as it does that, um, it will shift slightly, staying same height and so forth, and just moving there. And lash its last tentacle towards Bradley, with uh, towards Frank, with disadvantage. So take the lower of those two. And that misses, right, Frank? Yeah. Okay, so uh, you dodge with your boxer stance. Um, yep, that's it. 
Mm. Still looks worried. His eyes are still glowing. Okay, Frank, you're no longer dodging. What would you like to do? Uh, how... So if I go up on this platform, is it within my reach? Uh, if you go up on that platform, I don't know, what's your reach? Well, normal, five, five foot. Okay, so the, the platform will take you five feet higher. Uh-huh. Uh, so if uh, you're... So you'd be in five to ten, and you reach into ten to fifteen. Its lowest square is in um, twenty to twenty-five. So no, uh, that's the answer. So we ten feet out of reach. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, I guess I will. I'll keep it simple. Uh, I will. Um, conjure a flame into my hand and shoot it out at the guard. Ooh, okay. Uh, 17 to hit. Oh, that's cool. Wonderful. Okay, uh, 17 hits it. Uh, 12 then. Uh, yep, that Please seems to that hit. seems to burn it. Um, again, uh, it doesn't seem to burn through the thick membrane of its skin, um, uh, but uh, it does cause like good uh, a sort of good area of it of the above its eye is uh, scorched and charred uh, by the blast. Uh, which let's see if this works. There we go. Oh, nice. Um, and. So, yeah, that'll be it. Okay. Can I make some kind of passive intimidate check? I'll take a second. Um, what's your intimidate? Uh, plus eight. Mm, yeah, it won't necessarily get you any mechanical benefits, but yeah, you can. Uh, what are you saying? Um, uh, I don't think I'm uh, saying anything. I'm just sort of uh, pulling more magic into my hand and standing at my full little over seven foot height and just being a huge dude now looking scary angry as opposed to just fairly neutral I was before sure yeah uh, roll today <laughs> it starts uh, pulling Crowman uh, and trying to manipulate Crowman's body so that he's between you and the the creature it's trying to use Crowman as a shield from your blasts okay Cool. Fli flicking its eye wi around wildly as, as if looking for an escape route. Uh, Svarkov. Alright, I want to get out of these grasping tentacles. Okay, uh, if you want to get out of these grasping tentacles, uh, you can give me um, a strength athletics or dexterity acrobatics check, and that doesn't take an action for once, which is nice. Alright, we're just going to Muscle out of this. Yes, you do. All right, Sancho, catch up. Si, and senor. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start walking because there's there's stuff going on in here. It's oh, there's a big thing. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. So as you get into the room, uh, you see the glyphs, you see the pillars, you see Crowman being held aloft uh, and grappled. Uh, you can roll an Arcana check uh, to see if you recognize the creature. Uh, and what languages do you read? I, I read Common, Draconic, and Minotaur. Okay. Um, you do not recognize the language that the glyphs is in. And you do not recognize the creature either. It is a very strange thing. So how, again, how high off the ground is this guy, like, if I go up on the platform? So uh, he, if you go up on the platform, you'd be in the, the 5 to 10 feet square. Uh, he is in the 20 to 25 feet and the 25 feet to 30 feet square. 
So if I was up here and I had a halberd, I could poke him with it. Uh, I think he is just out of reach of reach weapons currently. Because this square's ten feet up, right? No, it's five feet up. It's in the five uh, to, oh. to ten feet. Then I'm going to just what on earth does that throw a hand axe at it? Because that's just my reaction to things. <laughs> Your reaction to things you don't understand. Hand axe. <laughs> throw <laughs> things at it. Fantastic. Okay. Uh. Well. Uh. It's twenty feet away. So. That that's gonna be a miss. Uh, it it reaches out with a tendril and and bats the hand axe uh, backwards on like sort of spins on the floor, like away from it. You come down here, where we are. I and will engage us in honorable combat. I will get to you next. Sacrifice. I must choke this one to death first and drain his blood so that the dreamer will be appeased. It's fun that we're having a conversation that lines up, even though neither of us speak the other's language. That is fun. Yes. <laughs> I enjoy that this is happening. <laughs> Truly serendipitous. <laughs> and definitely not the fact that the GM forgot that it couldn't speak common. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, anything else? Oh, uh, that's... It. Oh wait, you I have less. Know. Roll a d4. I mean, will it make a difference? It might. Did it make a difference? Not with a three. You needed a four. Oh, shame. <laughs> what if I sneak oh, an extra one in there? I mean, if it's a legal extra one that isn't there, cheating. There's a one, and we can just add that. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! I mean, then you hit. Oh wait a minute. <laughs> Okay, at this point, um, before we do anything else, um, just so uh, Theo has uh, 20 mo million more years to plan his turn. Um, normally in the middle of uh, my games, we take a break. Uh, this is no exception. Um, we're going to take a break here uh, very quickly. Um, as I say this, um, I think uh, like all of my one shots, I have planned far too much. <laughs> oh, for sure. I think... I think that happens for all of us. It, it, We're it, all gonna get killed in this first battle. No, <laughs> no, that's not that's not true. That's not true. Um, but yep. Yeah, so so uh, pe um, pe 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 people, rats? people watching at the beginning of round five, uh, we're, we're taking a break. Um, we will be back in ten minutes or so. Um, please do come back and watch the second half. It's a, it's they're only going to get more uh, competent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, 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 and good at dealing with things and discovering the secrets of who this dreamer is and why he wants sacrifices um, and we're way off a shadow yeah, they're, yeah absolutely Crowman, the exploits of Crowman will continue in 10 to, 10 to 15 minutes um, I'm, ba uh, I'm back you don't have to call off the show I'm, no, I'm here baby we're, we're, we're not calling off the show because you no, I, me, I, need I, need, I need a break as well <laughs> You, it was it was a bit unfortunate. You left just before I was going to say that we were going to take a break at the end of the round. <laughs> but that's okay, Bradley, because you can go join our loyal fans, uh, our loyal people who are watching us. I've had this is the this is uh, so far this is the most watched stream. We have got five people watching us at the moment, so that, I really hope it's not oh, just man. you four. <laughs> oh no, I'm not. No, I'm, yeah, I'm not. Cool, cool. Yeah, well, like. You, I, you, yeah, to be completely to... honest, I forgot that the Twitch was even a thing. Oh, well, Th throw me uh, throw me a link into the uh, Discord. The doobly do. Uh, I will go chat. Uh, I will. I will go. I will go there and then, uh, lucky chat. I can do an AMA. <gasps> some random guy who's nobody. <laughs> he, sa he says that he's pretty cool. Oh, I'm cool, man. All and right, cool. In which case, we'll be back in fifteen minutes, everybody. Mm-hmm. I thought it was 10. 15. Yeah. 15. 15. Okay. 15. Coffee. Hey. Yeah. Matt, you still here? Yep. Uh, no, he's not. Is anyone still here? I, I, I was still here. Um, but oh, I know. I'm, I'm going to go now, though, if you okay. need Bye. privacy. Bye. Bye. So, turns out, stream has, uh, is, is in the GM layer. Uh trying to mention before he left so I didn't, yeah, that's I, I didn't, I didn't it's, completely it's, leave 
<laughs> it, it's it's why I let, don't let me uh, just uh, that's gonna be his just, train, meaning that's gonna be his stuff. Let me just change that. There we go. Uh, has the stream host now? Or are we still pause, live? I can't, I can't. I can't do the. Uh, uh, I can't do the uh, again, uh, AMA, which everyone's been asking for. Mmm, your fans are craving for it. They want to know uh, answers. Someone's driving, and therefore they're only listening to the audio. Uh, okay, um, uh, drive safe. Um, be careful. Uh, hands free. Thank you. Uh, for for the for, since you're uh, only listening to the audio, I can inform you that there's a whole bunch of tentacles that we've just left. We're currently fly, fighting a beholder-like thing. It's a big blob of pinkish pudding with a red jelly eye uh, and some my tentacles. So lots lots and lots of tentacles around. Uh, and in the next room, not that I'm supposed to know this, but the stream has given me secrets. Uh, there's a whole bunch. Oh, actually, I don't want to spoil it for everyone else. Yeah, but, no spoilers. Uh, no spoilers. I don't want to spoil it for everyone else. No. Uh, but uh, exciting. Yeah, it'll be, it's exciting. Exciting time. Um, The one question I'm getting a lot of is why were you late? We happened upon him on World 20th. You did. Well, Big Mama Bell, um, I met Matt at university uh, way back in 2011. Um, a long time ago. I was, an, I was a young, idealistic engineering student. Matt was a uh, young and not idealistic, but less jaded uh, philosophy student. And uh, we met at the local role-playing game society. And Matt was actually my first GM there. Uh, and he's the first person who ran Pathfinder, uh, a game which I'd never played. I'd only ever played homebrew stuff because we wanted to play d d by school, but none of us could afford books, so we just made up some stuff and played. So it was my first time playing an official system. Um, I believe I played a Dwarven Earth, Earth Sorcerer uh, and enjoyed the Create Pit spell, especially because you're on a boat. Um, yeah, Matt started all those games on a boat because the only map he had, a physical map he had to bring along the sessions was a boat map. Uh, or he had a boat map and he also had like a blank beige map. Uh, so he always started playing off on a boat. So he gets used. So yeah, that's how I know Matt. Um, I, you know, I lived with him for a few years, um, uh, and uh, yeah, I think everyone else here 
met him through well no 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 that's a lie uh at least one of them lived in the same town as him and i believe also met him through uh like a game night D D night at a local game shop I believe that's a video so i'm not entirely you are. Aware of that. you are almost correct i'm almost correct oh my god uh you are correct in the fact that, uh, well, you are almost correct in the fact that I live in the same, well, lived in the same town as, um, town as Matt. I lived in the town next door. The way I met Matt was actually through his brother, as his brother uh, was my classmate, and we were good ah. friends. In fact, it was oh. him that introduced me to roleplay games, and uh, and Matt, when he returned to the town, uh, wanted to run some games. I was interested. We start. We joined. We started playing there. Ever since Matt was my main DM. Oh, you're a young boy. What do you mean I'm a young boy? You're but a young I am. Boy. I'm well, not younger young than boy. me. Yes, definitely. I thought you were. I, I had you paid for being in like at best, but like twenty eight or so. I think was why I had my guess. Mm, five years younger than than you thought. Yeah, twenty eight. Uh, twenty eight or thirty five. Okay, uh, five years or thirteen years. Um, Twelve years, sorry. But yeah, uh, I have met his brother first, and then I met Matt. And uh, both are massive nerds, confirmed live on stream, and I can actually say that. Oh, Matt's moving people around on the initial map. Oh, no. Drama alert. Wait a minute. But where will the donkey go? I don't like the... So, I don't know if Matt... Matt, since he's moving stuff around, or was moving stuff recently. Um, see, it's bad, it was a bad idea for me to do this AM because uh, I have to look at the chat which I do also see the screen and unfortunately what, what you can do you can pause I, and I could but I'm incredibly percent uh I doubt uh but or, or just don't cheat I do it's true I'm not going to cheat with this knowing this knowledge but I am more scared seeing a faded out stat block uh with a specific name on it and I'm worried <laughs> Nah, it's fine. Right? It's fine. Don't worry. Oh, but no, I am. Uh, uh, I, I like to think I'm good at not mecha gaming. Um, uh, I once uh, walked through a prismatic wall uh, because my character was not able to identify what it was and thought, "What? What's the worst a rainbow wall could do?" Hmm. It killed me, essentially. Just the way it's meant to be. I mean, it, it didn't actually kill me, but um, the way we read the rules for, for Pathfinder was it got rid of all my gear, and then I had to fight, uh, I want to say an ancient dragon, but it might have just been an adult, uh, 1v1, and I was naked. Um, hmm. Uh, that, that does sound like a death well done. I mean, it came down to it, it came down. I had to roll on the last uh, damage roll. If I'd rolled, I think it was a. I think I needed to roll a four or higher on the d8, and I would have beaten it. Something stupid like that. We are very high level. But that dragon was one of only two creatures that that character ever met who survived a round of attack. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. The other one um, survived. Um, 
partly because uh, I forgot to program in damage dice into one of my macros. <laughs> so um, the bonus is on the end. <laughs> <laughs> and nothing else. Just so it got, it got away on single digits from a few hundred. Cool. Do some So. Oh, I was supposed to be reading World 20 chat. Hmm, interesting. Um, the best word. Oh, in best world. word in the world in the world. And points mean prizes, seven points, all chat at the same time. I'll, I'll put in my personal favorite word. I'm not saying it's the best word. It's my personal. Oh, 11 points, wow. All those words, and none of them were food except mine. That bet. Taco got seven points. Yeah, yeah four letters food. got seven points. Is taco not taco food, is yeah? the best word. It's the uh, meme potential. Uh, if you'd said some other food with four four letters, I wouldn't have given it. But we've made so many jokes about tacos that I feel like it deserves a seven. <laughs> I suppose that's fair. Locomotive is a fantastic word, but it's not tacos. Uh, so it gets six points. Um, uh, pull creditiveness is so good that I can't even say it. Um, Pultitudinous. Pultitudinous, see. Um, it's a fantastic word. 
Uh, that gets 11 points. Rambunctious, on the other hand, I can say it is a fantastic word. Um, I would have given it 10 out of 10. It's just it happens that there's an 11 out of 10 uh, as well. So, Because yeah. this is final. Yeah, yeah, we're turning it all the way up to 11. Okay, uh, so uh, from uh, taking a short break uh, and uh, from posting, obviously posting these words or what, what gets us, um, we've uh, doubled our viewership. Hello, five new people. How are you doing? I, I hope you're good. Um, I'm doing well, because I am one of those viewers, but I'm not actually viewing it because I can see what you're doing. Don't, don't, I'm, don't I'm artificially crazy. inflate her. I, just twist I only went because you told me to. <laughs> You no no that's that's good. You demand you demanded I do an AMA. So I, I did not it. did not demand that. And, like I even had to register and everything. Oh, I appreciate that. Uh, you should <laughs> while you're there, uh, you should follow me. Um, and I did. Me. I just clicked follow. Fantastic. I follow you. Fantastic. Oh, I I can follow you. Yeah, I've used up my free subscription. Oh well, we we still seem to have gained someone unless someone else is. Uh, uh, no, I I still haven't left the chat, oh, so no, we, it's probably. We, oh no! Well, we've gained two people, so I I no okay. I, I think uh, I think maybe we have gained a couple of people. That's good. Hello, everybody. I, I, I spam basically everyone in my. Uh, if, if you're yeah, if 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 you're if you're a real person, <laughs> clap clap your hands if you believe you're a real person in chat, um, uh, and you're not one of my one of my players, uh. And feel free to uh, post. We're not real. Yeah, we're entirely fictional. Feel free yeah. to. You are. You are. You, do, you don't know. You're all uh, figments of my imagination. Feel free to post your favorite word in chat as well, and I will assign it points when I look at the chat later. Uh, points mean prizes, everybody. Points mean prizes. Um, disclaimer: prizes may not be real. Points may be entirely uh, unconvertible. Um, please consult Orcus if you feel unhappy about this. Right. So. Uh, know that you are all poultry children. <laughs> I don't even know what it means. That's why it's an eleven. It's something about like uh, it's a description of beauty, if I remember. Uh, oh, wonderful! So it's you're, con physically you're I hope you're not insulting our, our new viewers, like. like no, it means physically beautiful. It's okay. a compliment. that's wonderful. See, you, but it sounds like an insult. Come, you can, that's that's why it's wonderful. You come here, uh, you watch uh, this channel, and you get uh, such fantastic uh, compliments as well. So, Reese, is there any way to see the chat room without seeing the video? Because I don't want to spy on what you're doing. But like, yes, I... you can pop out the chat. Uh, so if you click on the settings button, um, ooh, uh, mo molybdenum is also a word I can't say. That gets eleven points. Molybdenum. That's an element. Twelve. Twelve points. Twelve points. Um, uh, you can click on the cogwheel oh. in chat and there's a pop out button and if you hit pop out it pops out as a separate window that way you can minimize twitch uh, oh, wait. Uh, and just keep the chat there it is okay but now the chat is empty again y yeah I'm, I I'm not entirely sure about that but it, it should fill up again as long as you keep twitch open it should be fine I hope <laughs> I haven't seen any messages appear in the chat. Oh, right? okay. Well, I've just had messages appear in my chat, so... Ah, there we go. First message. Hmm. San hmm. Sancho is an awakened shrub who we obtained beginning of the game. Yes, he is our awakened pot plant that is my squire. <laughs> he has traveled with us for many years. Many years. <laughs> <laughs> Probably one. He is expending his lifespan on this. <laughs> and now he's grappled also, he's, by tentacles. He's, also, he's Mexican? Yes, he's, he's Sancho. Well, he's supposed to be Spanish. And, and, and uh, he, he is neither Mexican nor Spanish. Uh, he is from uh, south, the southwest area of Frunk, uh, near the uh, coastal uh, tiefling nation that sunk, sank beneath the waves. Just happens that that is they speak Spanish, so you know. Um, don't, ju don't judge, don't judge. Um, uh, well, he he got awakened with a personality. You can't tell him what to be. He's living his best life. Reese. He is living his best life. Top of the he round. Is. Uh, <laughs> and man. You can uh, roll a strength, athletics, or a dexterity acrobatics check for free. 
Ooh. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I, I don't will see say. the map anymore. Yeah, I'm on. Mm. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Let me just. Text us. Uh, let me just. Uh, yeah, yeah. You yeah. see donkey. Okay. Uh, donkey. There we go. Can you see the map now? Donkey. Yes. Cool. I'm on the wrong part of it, but I'm on the right map. Okay. Uh, you're over here. All the yeah. blackness. There we go. Got it. That's, okay. We're streaming the right part. I'll make. Uh, we've got sound. Everything's working. Oh. All the bars a are green. Free athletics check. Do it. Raw. Oh, yeah. You throw off those tentacles. You, 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 the quasi reel your ass. You grab them, twist them into a knot, and then break them over your knee. Take that. You're no longer that. grappled. I shall save my friend. Oh, crap. I went into a wall. Don't do that. Okay. First things first. Uh, what languages do you read? I. Didn't pick them. That's <sighs> on me. Less I. Pick them now. Uh, realistically, uh, common, uh, celestial, probably draconic, I think. Okay. The other one you, you don't understand this language the, of floating glyphs in the Texas. air. Texas. Um, uh, you also don't understand uh, the death kiss, unfortunately. But you can roll an arcana check to identify it. Who? <laughs> nope, there it is. And there goes your inspiration. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what was I saying about coming back more competent? So, so long inspiration. Oh, <laughs> Lord. Um, house rules giveth, house rules taketh away. I was going to say. <laughs> oh, Lord, it's going. Um, all right. So, um, uh, you, uh, so none of you have any idea what this thing is, but uh, it, it's uh, it's got whippy tentacles that uh, got teeth on them. Um, uh, for anybody who's joined us, uh, the party are currently fighting uh, this lovely wow. buddy here. What, what, what a lovely guy. Bit bigger than the picture suggests. Look at those teeth and claws on the end of those uh, tentacles. What a, what a great guy. Um, the leftmost sketch looks a bit like Stewie Griffin. Uh, does it? Oh, it reminds me of Stewie Griffin. Uh, it kind of does. Reminds me of something from Futurama. Anyway, so, Reese, um, you haven't broken stealth yet, but if you don't attack this turn, it will notice you. So, what would you like to well, do? Well, that's okay. I'm going to point at it. I'm going to say, ew, gross, <laughs> and cast Vicious Mockery. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Such insults. <laughs> it, it's going to look... I mean... We mutually don't understand each other. I was gonna say, vicious mockery. Language. Vicious mockery doesn't require understanding, does it? It just requires them to be it intelligent. Does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the rules so. of wisdom saving throw. Uh, it looks offended. <laughs> Take that six psychic damage. Take some psychic damage. Has disadvantage on its next attack roll. Nice. Good job. <laughs> I have. So few offensive options. <laughs> Hashtag bards. Um, before we get around to Chroman's turn, all the vault. Um, Chroman, give me a concentration check because you didn't you didn't roll one for being tentacled. Balls. I did. Okay, I didn't see it. Uh, if you have a look at my last roll, right? Uh, beef, oh, that was the right constitution saving throw. Constitution. I was wondering yeah. what that was. Okay, yeah, you you made that concentration. Was Good job. Indeed. Cool, 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 cool. Right, so... Wait. Reese, do you want to use your bonus action? Um, yeah. Actually, no. I don't know if we're going to get a short rest, and I don't want to use all my stuff yet. Okay. So, no. All right. Next, everybody aside from Crowman, give me a dexterity saving throw. Oh, my God. As the tentacles begin sprouting in this room. Okay, uh, Svarikov, you're I grappled. Think, I think I'm enjoying being grappled. <laughs> Apparently. Uh, Frank and Reese, you are not grappled. Good. Crowman, you're already grappled. <laughs> <laughs> Differently. Yeah. I mean, you can be grappled by me. Let's see. Okay. Right, so. So, Crowman, um... You are grappled currently. If you wish to escape this grapple, uh, it takes an action. 
uh, and a uh, strength, athletics, or dexterity, acrobatics against DC 14. You don't have to do that, though. You can do other stuff. Currently, it's just grappling you, so it's just reduced your speed to zero. Okay. Uh, Ten immediate question. Uh, which squares I can see that are in dim light? Um, I don't think there's any. Uh, Sam's casting light, which means snap to corner. So this whole area is light. Uh, no, there's... Is, there? is Frank casting light? Yeah. No, I can't see that square. Okay, yeah, no, there's no squares in this room that, are, that aren't uh, in light at the moment. Aside from... Oh, ceiling squares. Um, uh, above... above uh, uh, Frank and Sam uh, in the 25 uh, 20, in the 20 to 25 and the 25 to 30 squares uh, those are dim currently because the ceiling is 30 feet high and they're only casting light to 20 and that so the ceiling over there is dim yes good alright um, shadow step <laughs> to the top of the ceiling let's okay. go you're not in dim light currently oh no I must live in shadow <laughs> <laughs> Okay. okay, yeah. I'll try to break out. Sure. Action. Mm. Acrobatics. I'll use that. Do it. You twist and writhe. <clears throat> Twisting and writhing. And you break I three. Must return to, I must return to the shadows. Let me just really quickly check that you do break three. Oh, sorry. Uh, you are currently restrained rather than grappled. Um, I think that might give you disadvantage. Let me just check. Yes, it does. Okay. Roll, roll again. Take the lower. Wait, does it? Uh, just checking. No, it doesn't. Uh, no, it, it gives you... It makes your speed zero. Uh, you can't benefit from any bonus. Right. Attack rolls have advantage. Uh, your attack rolls have disadvantage. You have disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. Yep. So, so, uh, That's <laughs> not a dex save. Uh, oh, actually, no. Technically, uh, at the start of your turn, <laughs> roll a dexterity saving throw with disadvantage. Okay. Because you're in the uh, tentacles. <laughs> okay, you are double grappled. <laughs> oh, you're so screwed. <laughs> That's fantastic. I just got to turn off the lights. I need a shadow. <laughs> oh my god. Um, so, uh, with your acrobatics, um, uh, I I'm going to let you break out of both grapples at the same time. You don't have to roll a check per grapple, uh, but you are going to have to... Uh, sorry, you, you don't have to roll... You don't have to use a separate action per grapple, but you do need to roll a separate check. Uh, so roll me another acrobatics check to see if you can break out of um, that? the other grapple. I am fine. Okay, you break out of both grapples. <laughs> I must return to my shadows. I'm going to slide down the wall. Sure. And uh, then I am going to move to this side, and I am going to. Uh, okay, that pull will... out a weapon. Wait, no, it, I used an action. I can't. That will prov okay. also provoke an attack of opportunity. Uh, Are you sure you want to do that? <laughs> so. <laughs> I'll have to, I'll be I'm going to be grappled next to probably anyway. Uh, I must be Yeah, no, I'll just lie down. I'll 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 suffer through. Okay, cool. Uh bonus action because I do have a bonus action. Bonus action pa patient the Cool, that's a good idea. As part of my earlier intimidate check, once this uh, creature's shield is gone, mm -hmm. I'm going to smile. Oh no, it flinches slightly. <laughs> um, Sancho attempts to follow his, uh, his uh, lord's orders and free himself and catch up. He still can't. <laughs> He's trying. He's trying so hard. Uh, but he can't. his best. Um, okay. So, it's been mocked. It's not happy about that. There's all these people moving in. It's not happy about that either. Um. Okay. Uh, with uh, disadvantage against Frank because of mockery. Miss. 
um, the psychic damage uh, ripples across the tentacle and pushes it out of the way, almost physically. And then uh, with disadvantage uh, against Crowman. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Miss. Ooh, dangerous game. Uh, we're going to roll D2. Uh, Crowman, you're one. Frank, you're two. Okay. Okay, goes oh. for Crowman again. It's scared of Frank. Uh, with disadvantage again. Reach oh, the shadows man. and reach nothing. <laughs> I must have sacrifice for the dreamer. He cannot be propitiated without sacrifice. Come down and fight me. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to say that every time it speaks. Okay. <laughs> Neither of us speak the same language. Yeah, it looks completely uncomprehending. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, Frank, the beginning of your turn. Roll a deck save. Uh, what? Uh. Uh, tentacles. Will I succeed? <laughs> tentacles very thoroughly wrap around Frank. It, it's, oh, Frank. Uh, Frank, you There's are. the hug you wanted. You, yeah, yeah, they hug you. They're giving you a nice hug. They're not even restraining you. They're just grappling you. Oh, well, that's not so bad then. Yeah, it's almost nice. Uh. In which case, um, I, I guess, uh, yeah, I'm just going to shoot at this creature again, I think. Um, Sounds yeah. so unhappy. I'm sorry. No, it's, just, it's fine. Okay. Oof. <laughs> it's a good hit, if it helps. Always. Narrowly miss its eye. Um, yeah, that's it. Nicely done. Uh, okay. Um, roll this because it could help you out. It doesn't help you out. Okay. That number. Cool. Um, Sam. Okay, so it's still too high. Like, even its dangly tentacle bits are out of reach. Uh, so you could ready. Uh, I would I would allow you to ready to attack it as it attacks you. Uh, as it sort of moves its tentacles in reach, uh, you could swing at the tentacles. Okay, I will... Bust out of these tentacles. Sure. Uh, mm -hmm. Athletics or acrobatics. That's a pass. You You're not grappled. Alright, so I'm going to walk those here. Cuffs. Cuffs walk are here. I'm going to get my halberd out. Sure. And I'm ready and attack. Actually, I'll, I'll stay here. That way I can attack. No matter if it attacks Crowman or Frankie, it will get the halberd. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to slash you. Um, it looks at you as you say that and say, Oh and no, you figured out how to attack me. I'll have to kill you first. Come down and fight us like an honorable combatant. <laughs> Not some floaty eye thing. I think you're asking too much of the death kiss. <laughs> Reese, top of your round, deck save. Okay. Remember you have bless. I do remember I have bless. It's not going to help you though. <laughs> okay, you're grappled. Well, shoot. That's okay. I can still cast Dissonant Whispers. Alright, do it. I actually won't. Okay. Oh. Don't I'm do it. I'm going to cast Vicious Mockery. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Conserving your resources is a good idea. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, oh, gross. What is that thing? It's so gross. It, it, it's ignoring you currently. It's focused on uh, Sam, unfortunately. Well, Darren. Okay. Okay. 
I will just wait. Okay. <laughs> I'm grappled. What, am I gonna, what else am I going to do? Um, I don't know. Bonus action. Probably want to save it. Um, yeah. Okay. Rolling a d2. Oh, nope, no. nope, those tendrils are still there. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, if anything, they shift slightly to here. <laughs> uh, Crowman, beginning of your turn. Dexterity saving throw, please. Reach into the shadows. And grabs. Mm. Mm. Bless time. <laughs> yep, roll bless. Get a four. Do I feel blessed? No, hashtag not blessed. <laughs> oh, no. You are, you are once again grappled by the tentacles. Shadow tentacles this time. Hey, you you reached into the darkness. <laughs> no, that's not the kind of darkness I want. The darkness reached back. back. reached back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. That's not the way it's meant to be. No, no, it's exactly, exactly the sort of shadows. Um, somewhere Evard's going, ha 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 ha. Oh, Evard, why do you, why you hurt me now? <laughs> okay, uh, so unfortunately you are grappled at the beginning of your turn. But I'm not restrained. You're not restrained, you're just grappled. By, these tentacles just grapple you. The death kiss tentacles restrain you. Okay. Uh, in that case... Uh, battering! I mean, boomerang! Ha! At death kiss. Oh, that's a crit! Get them, boys. Get right. them, boys. All right. Okay. Um, you whap it. Uh, it cuts through several of its tentacles um, for 13 damage. Nice. It, doesn't, it quivers slightly and goes, oh. Um, uh, because uh, that's a uh, slashing damage, but at range, um, yeah, you see lightning come out of its blood. Like its blood uh, glitters and uh, sort of sparkles with uh, like uh, electrical sparks. You think that if you'd been within five feet of it when you uh, hit it with a slashing or, or maybe a piercing weapon, uh, you would have been shocked. Ooh. Oh no. This is, this is magic. That's my plus one weapon. I just did my plus one weapon. Uh, so Sam sees that as well. So Sam, if you, if, you, if you do hit it when it tries to hit you, you, you will get shocked, you think, if you use a piercing or slashing weapon. But I, I have... Re Does that matter? Um, I'm, I'm letting you hit it while it, 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 you'll get shocked. You'll get hit with the blood. If, if you can reach it, then it can sort of, like, hit you with it, essentially. Okay. Um, okay. So, anything else, Chroma? Nope. If you have another thing to throw, you can throw another thing. I do have a dart I could lob, so let's do that. But this time it's, a, it's not a magical dart. That's okay. Well, Oh, um, I only have one blessed turn, right? Uh, no, don't think so. Uh, Reese, you can roll bless multiple times, right? Please clarify. See ya. Yes, I could. <laughs> Just yeah. says whenever a target makes an attack roll or a saving throw before the spell, it doesn't yeah, specify I mean, the like, number. Yeah, it's not a lot of shame. That's still a miss. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, oh, is a 15 a miss? Oh, no. Yeah, a 15 is a miss. Right, right. I got oh, another one for <laughs> No, that doesn't work. Uh, Sancho is still stuck. Uh, oh, Sancho. Okay, it's going to try and kill the one who's figured out... The only, the one, only that one. Only you, Sam, have figured out how to fight it, clearly. Um, and it, 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 it yells at you, Muda, 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 as it reaches for you with tentacles. As it reaches for you with the first tentacle, uh, you may make... Uh, you're ready to tax. Ready to tax. Let's go. Hit. Nice. Okay. All right. Uh, you deal seven seven slashing damage to it. As you deal seven t slashing damage to it, its blood spatters over you and shocks you. For six points of electricity damage, uh, lightning damage, even. Uh, let's see if we've got a funky. Do I get to use both my? Is, yeah, yeah. Is this reaction? Yep, you've readied an attack, right. so you, you get, get to use both. Nice, that's another hit. Uh, unfortunately, its blood also triggers multiple times. Uh, so it zaps you for 7, but you hit it for 14. I think you're winning the damage race. 
It appears almost bloodied. Oh, uh, and then does a twenty hit you? Yes. Okay. Uh, you are restrained. You take nine piercing. Uh, it moans in pain. I'm gonna do grapple sign for restrained, but but two to indicate the severity. Um, and then uh, as it moans in pain, uh, it is going to substitute its second uh, tentacle uh, attack uh, for a blood drain attack, uh, which means its teeth on the end of the tentacle clamp down into Sam. Does it make an attack? It does not. Dang. Uh, you need to make me a constitution saving throw, Sam. You're good at those, so I'm sure you'll be fine. Remember your blessed. 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 Get a four. No. Oh, hashtag not blessed. Oh, dear. Okay. On the plus side, it rolled real bad. So you only take light 13 lightning damage, um, and uh, it regains uh, six hit points. So it's up to... What does that look like to the rest of us? Uh, it looks like the teeth bite down through Sam's armor. Uh, lightning crackles down the tentacle into Sam. Uh, at the same time, uh, seemingly... Uh, you know how there are some um, animals that, that send like very, very small amounts of electricity through their skin to sort of open their pores and so forth? It, it looks like the electricity sort of goes over what looked like blood sap on the side of the tentacle which inflate and begin to fill with Sam's blood okay um, and yeah, I really need to like pay attention to what I can do have you got an ability <laughs> well actually I have a cup um, okay. I don't think it entered though no that's okay uh, well, uh, I mean we can uh Depending on what they are, I, I'm okay with retroactively applying them if uh, we've missed something. What have we Can't missed? do that one. Can't do that one. Well, no, I, 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 the, I could do an Indomitable and reroll the failed, but Ooh. that's only once a prolonged rest. That might, so, you might want to save that one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm thinking that's probably worth saving. Uh, it's about to attack someone else. Do you have anything that allows it to... Allows you to sort of like give it disadvantage or anything. Uh, the cap um, well, I have warding maneuver, which is as a reaction when I or a creature within five feet is hit, I can try to fend off the strike. I add one d eight to the target's AC. If the attack still hits, the target has resistance against. That's really cool, but you've used your reaction. Oh, that's right, because I ready the. Yeah, yeah. Um, but good to know. Good to know. I will. I will tell you when you when you proc it against things that aren't flying tentacle monsters. Um, Frank. Tentacle flies towards you. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, Rick. Do you have any defenses against crits? No. Uh, okay. You're a Tempest Cleric, though. Do you want to blast it with Channel Divinity as it hits you? Mm, that's not a thing. Uh, yeah, it is. It's not yeah, a thing you might not have, but it is. It's, a, not, it's not a Channel Divinity. Um, uh, no, it's a Domain Power. Yes. Uh... Well, either way, it hits you for 26 damage. Oof. And restrains you. It is, however, out of attacks, so it can't blood drain you this turn as well. Oh. And I'm um, going to put a tentacle sign on it um, because it's used two of its ten tentacles. <laughs> oh no, I'm going to run out. <laughs> um. Yeah, I may as well laugh at it. You know what? This sounds like a job for a bean. No, 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 no it doesn't. No, no. it's uh, <laughs> it's not eleven o'clock yet. <laughs> uh, Forty-five minutes. Come on, you can do it. No, honestly, given how much progress we are, I'm going to save this and we, we might do this again at some point. Um, oh. This was definitely one session. Well, I mean, it's obviously not going to be definitely one <laughs> session, though, is it? 
Uh, I even did only one map. But no, apparently I can never ever run a one shot that only lasts one session. Um, yeah, Eleven Thunder, you say? Yes. You are correctly choosing Thunder, huh? Yeah, oh, I just saw the lightning. That that may, I, I, I know. I, I was just giving you shit. <laughs> um, okay, so it's a thunder blast. So thunder explosion, explosion. Cool. Uh, yep, it looks. Pretty badly hurt by that, and it's your turn, Frank. Indeed, indeed, indeed uh, sticker. That was a big clip, but I'm a sorcerer, so I got lots of hit points to take it. That's true. Uh, so, at the beginning of your turn, um, you are currently grappled by the tentacles, which you can break out as a free action. Uh, athletics uh, or acrobatics? I can try to break out of the action. Oh, uh, you can the the tentacles, the shadow tentacles. Yeah, you can't break out of the uh, tentacles of the death kiss as a free action. Uh, well, okay, you're double. You're both grappled and restrained. Okay, you're um, really stuck. Quite. You're um, you're not netted, however, so that's good. Wait, hang on. Oh, wait. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hang on. Whoa. Whoa. What happens if I move mm -hmm. when I'm restrained? Slash grapple. That breaks it, doesn't it? No. Uh, ooh. Uh, yes. But how are you going to move? Have you got a teleport? No. I've got, um, I've got a thing which makes me move 10 feet. Okay. okay. Print, print, the yeah, the print the ability out. Print the ability out because uh, you, you don't benefit from bonuses to your speed at the moment. Either. It's not a bonus to my speed. That's why I said, that's why I said print it out because it might work. Uh, fly up to 10 feet without provoking uh, yeah that works sweet I will do this uh, so I need to cast a first level or higher spell okay. correct uh, I read that as a fifth level spell uh, uh... <laughs> I read that as a fifth level spell <laughs> what the hell this isn't the like, boss, who's, to be clear. Who's, taking, who's take, <laughs> taking a lot of damage out of Sam and Crow? Has Crowman taken a lot of damage? I have taken quite a bit, but not terribly much. Uh, we have a heal bot, so okay. don't worry. Yes, uh, oh. heal. <laughs> we I have a heal. a heal bot! <laughs> I will defend my friends. I'm going to, as a bonus action, cast... Oh wait, no, wait, so I need this bonus action to move. Don't you do. It. Damn it! Uh, I won't cast Feel free to heal me. I'm good. Um, <laughs> I heal you enough buddy. on normal <laughs> sessions. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I mean, cast an attack spell. It's You get to move before or after, so you'll break the restraint before you can... Yeah, fine. I'll friggin just break out. So I'll break the rest so I'll use bonus action to move just for making this attack. Yep. Flying up. The uh, gusts of wind uh harden like blades and knock the tentacles away from you, both the death kisses and the shadows. Uh and I will uh cast chromatic orb at first level. Doing thunder damage. Thunder Thunderstruck. That's a hit! We for six damage. Amazing. <laughs> That's awful. That's a fantastic <laughs> chromatic orb. Look at that. Double one and a four. Uh, well, you know what? It's still a hit, and you broke out of the restraint with it, and that's what matters. <laughs> oh, wait, hang on. Uh, how, actually, how, cl how high up is it? Uh, it is in the 20 to 25 and the 25 to 30 feet squares. 20 to 25. So if I flew up 10 feet, Yep, you would go from the 0 to 5 to the 10 to 15 square. So it would be within 10 feet of me? Correct. Uh, in which case I'll fly up here but 10 feet high. Sure. And uh, I will also deal another 5 thunder damage to it using my um, past Kab storm. Sure. Kaboom! Nice. I'll try and land. Is it five damage? Yeah, half my. Oh, sorry, four. four. I was gonna say. 
that one damage is very important. Um, and yeah, no, you, you land okay. Cool. Good turn. Alrighty. Okay, that doesn't help you right now. Uh, Sam. Okay, can I grab the tentacle that is latched onto me uh -huh. and make a grapple check against him? Uh, I will allow it. Uh, it will be okay. at disadvantage, though. Because it, it is uh, currently... You're very, very grappled right now. <laughs> uh, on the plus side, it is very bad at... Well, it's not very bad, but it's not great at counter-grappling. So, you know, we'll see. Okay, right, so disadvantage, strength of life. Those are bad rolls. Those are bad rolls. But, um... Because uh, I'm treating it like an attack roll to give you a disadvantage, I will allow you to roll bless on this. And not that it matters, because... Yep, okay, you've got it. <laughs> okay, now I want to use the shove, air quotes, to actually pull it, reel it in sure. towards me. Uh, so, uh, it's immune to going prone, uh, so it doesn't... You, you don't... Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, you, you can't, like, sort of... Um, reduce its speed to zero and drop it out of the sky um it, it always hovers but you can indeed do that uh so give me another athletics check this time just a normal athletics check death kiss has turned into a balloon nice <laughs> uh it it struggles but nope you you pull it in okay yeah, it's within i, I five would like to you. ideally get it so i can hit it with my halberd yep it's within five feet of you okay and you are grappling it. <laughs> All uh, right, it's got me, and I got it, and this is fun. This is fun. <laughs> you you won't be able to hit it with your halberd, um, because the halberd is a two-handed weapon, and you have to use one hand to grapple it, though. So you'll have to use like a one-handed weapon or punch it. Okay, so. I. This is going to be fun then, because I have an idea. Okay. I have an idea. Is it, I think I know what the idea is. But go ahead. I have a plan. Cool. I'm, I'm trying to channel Jai. What is it that he says? I think that's it. <laughs> I have a plan. Yeah. I have. A plan. It's normally followed by "It's a bad plan." <laughs> yeah, but it's it a plan. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this this isn't exactly a great plan, but it's fun, and that's what Matt. Does it involve your horns, sure. perchance? Yes, it, it does. Ha <laughs> ha Okay. Cool. All right. Uh, you drag it down. Um, so grapples, uh, we'll call that one of your attacks, uh, and then the shove, uh, we'll call that the other of your attacks. So you won't be able to attack it again this round unless you can attack it as a bonus action. Can you attack it as a bonus action? No, um, no. Okay, right. So you won't be able to attack it this round, but it is currently grappled, and it is uh, five feet. It's like hovering just off, off the plinth uh, currently, uh, just off the raised area currently. Okay. Okay. Uh, bless ticks. Reese, at the top of the round, you can try to freely escape. Okay. Athletics or acrobatics? Athletics. Raw, so strong. You escape! Raw! Thank you, magic gloves. Hooray! Of ogre power! <laughs> right. right? Yep. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I will make a dash for not being grappled. Okay. <laughs> and I'll look up at this thing, and I'll say, "Ew, it's, gross. <laughs> Wait, is it in range now? It's, it's with it, yeah, it's it's floor? it's in five feet of the uh, floor currently. All right, I'll say, stab. I'll slice him. <laughs> You'll say <laughs> stab. <laughs> the, the fiercest of war crimes. They never expected. I mean, that is that is a hit. Um, as you slash it, uh, you get covered in electrified blood. Okay. Dealing you six lightning damage. Ouch. And causing a concentration saving throw. Oh, shoot. Dude, I forgot about that. <laughs> no, yeah, oh, you no. did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> That's my bad. But you still do it's seven damage bad. to it. Um, as, yeah, no, uh, it's, a good, it's a good strike. Have you got another? I don't. I'm a lore bard. <gasps> You're a nerd. I'm a nerd. I'm a nerd bard. <laughs> but I can do this. And I'm going to cast Healing Spirit. I'm going to put it right under who's hurt real bad. 
Uh, Sam is hurt the worst currently. Okay. Aside from it. aside from the death kiss, you could heal the death kiss if you wanted to. I think uh, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna put it right under Sam. Okay. Um, and we will take, let's see if I've got a. I bought you, another you spell effect healing. thing, so let me just see if I can find something that's appropriate for healing spirit. Golden cone, golden sphere, phantasmal hand. Uh, let's use this for the moment. That does mean bless is gone, for the record. Sorry, guys. Rip. I understand. All right, I'm gonna make this controllable by you, uh, Thea, sweet. when you want to move it around. Sweet, 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 sweet. Okay, so that's uh, D6 healing, or are you casting at a higher level? Um, it is. When his turn starts. Oh, okay. Get... It's on, on his turn. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's um, when you first enter it or if you start your turn in it. Cool. So he will start his turn in it. Nice, 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 nice. And it's <gasps> 1 and 6 plus 4. Oh, you guys! Uh, the tentacles, they vanish! Yay! Hey. In their place, the ground becomes slimy. No! <laughs> no! And difficult to rain. <laughs> all right i can't move anyway <laughs> it's true hey. he's not wrong <laughs> don't want free hand uh, it is just this room i think I, I will just measure but i'm pretty sure it's basically just this room it is this room yeah <laughs> Okay, so Svarakov's horns. Oh. Real bad. Yeah, so, uh. Chrome Agnon. Hmm. What's the plan, so man? Death, What's the plan, man? The death kiss has reach, and uh, the death kiss has uh, extremely long reach. That's good. I can use it to my advantage. Cool. You know what else he has? Zero movement speed. It does. Uh, it is currently uh, very, very slow. Um, but it's immune to being prone, so you you can't get it to drop out of the sky. Um, it is just hovering like an inch off the ground. Was I just grappled, or was I grappled under? Uh, you, uh... Let me just check. Good question. Um, you were grappled... Grappled by the... I think you were grappled by the... Deck save 11, and yeah, roll the 2, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, you were grappled by the, t the tentacles, not the... Um, you're not Sweet, the no more grapple. No, you're fine. Yay. The ground that's is good. real slimy though, but you can go up the walls, so that's okay. Mm, not even that. So, uh, Svarakov is the square lit from Svarakov, because Frankenstein is too far to light up um, in um, bright. Sam um, is right next to you. <laughs> Sam is right next to me, but is this location oh. Um. You don't, this, don't. You, you don't know. There is a door. Yeah, there's a, there there's is a door. Yeah. yeah. I can see that square. Door, that's door here. Know. It's an interact open a door, right? Uh, as long as it's not locked. Oh. But it's an interact to see if a door is locked as well, right? No, it's a free action to look at it and think, is this door locked? And then think, there is no way of me knowing without trying it. Okay, well, I'm going to use my interact to try to open the door. That door is not locked. Okay. Is it dark enough in that square? Uh, when you open the door, not anymore. <laughs> ah, it's a little up Because now. the light goes into it. <laughs> <laughs> Because that's how ah, hey. that's how light works. <laughs> yep. I was hoping that not enough light would go. You know, for someone who's been doing this for ten levels. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping that it would be ten enough. 
but apparently it does well, not. Well, no, not, not within 20 feet of Sam it isn't. Um, uh, beyond 20 feet of Sam, you can teleport. So uh, you, could te you could teleport here. That's, that's the other end of the corridor. From there, yeah. No. <laughs> Alas, I cannot. Oh, well, punchy punch. What? No, you, no you, okay. you, you can punch here. You can teleport here. Oh no, no you, you can't. Oh yeah, you can't, you can't teleport at the moment. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, why, that's why I wanted that scratch. <laughs> so I can walk in there and teleport the moment. Oh rip. It'd be like, crow strikes, but no, crow strikes from... Um, crow strikes from below! Get him! Didn't get him. Um, Bless has dropped. Uh, no, it hasn't. He passed a save. Yeah, it has. No, it hasn't. He passed no, because no, he... This, the healing he spirit. Concentration to healing oh, spirit. he did. You're quite right. Rip. Uh, the crow strikes better this time with his inspiration. Uh, that is a hit. Um, mm -hmm. Might as well. Flurry of blows. Ora! Ora, 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 ora. <laughs> that's Sad a, days. That's a boomerang. That's also that's a boomerang. A boom and that's why you're missing. Uh, wouldn't have hit anyway. Yeah, no, you wouldn't. Not. 15 out of 14. But nevertheless, damn. Nevertheless, I need to swap him around. Ah, shame. Um, shame. It parries both of your strikes with your boomerang with the tendril around your wrist, n nearly ripping it out of your grasp. Oh, Frantically struggling, sorry. telling you that you should surrender yourself and be sacrificed. Never. Um, Shadow does not surrender. Oh my god, Sancho's not grappled anymore, guys. <laughs> Yeah, Sancho, come! You must see what is happening for posterity! 15, 25, so 35, 45... Can't get it. Okay, so 40. He dashes. He dashes into the room, struggling against the slime. Uh, si, senor! I am coming, my, my lord! Waving his branches <laughs> in a heroic effort to reach you. Come, yeah, Sancho! Take my journal in, in note because I my hands are... Yeah, they're a little full. Oh my god. Right. Okay. So you have grappled it. Well, I mean, it's not a big fan of that. Not a big fan. Oh, no. Uh, oh, whatever. Uh, I fucked up. Um, uh, it was grappling you with a tentacle. That's why I had two tentacles in use. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It was grappling Frank. Carry on. Um, okay, cool. It's still grappling Sam, though. Um, because you're sort of grappling each other. Uh, so uh, it is going to blood drain Sam. So, con save. Man, I'm rolling really bad on that lightning damage. Okay, you take eight lightning Yeah, I made the save. Eight lightning damage, and it regains four hit points. Um, and then it is going to lash out with a tentacle towards the person who just cut at it. Reese. Bring it on. Tentacle. <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> Bring it up, whap! <laughs> I keep waiting for like a good opportunity to use my cutting words, but you keep critting. I'm sorry, Matt. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, okay, yeah. He's not One sorry. Day. Twitch chat. He's not sorry. Run. <laughs> <laughs> he's a madman. He isn't sorry at all. <laughs> Oh dear, so yeah, uh, 22 piercing damage, and you're Oof. grappled, and restrained, and since it's you've been nice enough to let it do that, it is going to blood drain you as well. Cool. <laughs> We're going to die. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> oh shit, hold up, i got to make a concentration check now. You have to make two, because it's damaged oh, you twice. God. I only have plus one constitution. I wasn't expecting this to ever happen. One is a DC pass. A the other is DC 11. And... <coughs> oh, God. Wait, no, wait, no. no. no that's that's <laughs> right. That's the right order. They, they, yeah. they both yeah. pass. <laughs> so you're, you're still concentrating <laughs> on healing spirit. Uh, and then, then you need yeah. another constitution saving throw against it being zapped to, to see how much damage you take because you haven't rolled that yet. What am I getting zapped by? Blood drain. Oh, those shit. are both concentration checks. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, hold on. What's the other concentration check? Because the tentacle hit you. That's a concentration yep. check. Then the blood drain hits you for damage. That's a concentration yep. check. 
and, and then you need to make a constitution saving throw against the blood drain to see how much oh, damage shit. you take from okay. the blood drain. Okay, I get it. I get you. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's, okay. a, that's a fail. Okay. So you take 11 lightning damage. Still all good. Dang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All good, yeah. It's not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Lied the boy. <laughs> okay, cool. So it's using two of its tentacles. Oh my god, jeez. That's a li- How much health do you have? And it, 63. And it gets I'm five a, more hit I'm points squishy. back. I'm a squishy boy. Um, but it's still within range of melee now. Uh, Frank. Hello. So currently, it's got its tentacle wrapped around Sam and around Reese, and it seems to be zapping them while draining them of life. Crowman's flurrying at it, uh, but not doing much, and uh, you are currently safe. The floor is lava. No, it's difficult terrain. What do you do? I mean, I'll be honest with you guys. Uh, most of what I do is lightning. Uh, <laughs> just so everyone knows i didn't pick the lightning immune enemy after i knew that bradley was playing a storm sorcerer i picked it before <laughs> you told me he was playing a storm so sorcerer. he says no i did i really did <laughs> uh, that's fine uh i will have you tried using thunder uh i have hit it with thunder multiple times i'm gonna shoot it with five oh Oh, get shot. Crit! Boom! Mm-hmm. Get that inspiration. Uh, yep, yeah, that's a good hit. And you know what? Uh, this fight is dragged on long enough. I'm going to spend two sorcery points and shoot again. Okay. And I'm going to spend inspiration so that I can convert a second. Do it. That's another hit. It's not a crit. Uh, give me a passive intimidation with advantage. By passive, I mean roll an intimidation with... Oh, my God. Okay. Um, it is too busy being on fire and in pain uh, to, to think about running away. Uh, but, it, but it really is on fire and in pain. Damn. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a lot of damage. Is <laughs> that 40 damage? That's 40 damage with two cantrips. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. Um, okay, this would be a nice time for me to roll. Don't. Three, four, five. Uh, the eight. one that heals up. I need to roll a six. Mm. Oh, I did! <laughs> that's, no. a, that's hilarious. That's absolutely hilarious. Okay, right. Um, I don't like it. No, no, it's great. It's beautiful. You'll you'll love it. Um, I, I swear. <laughs> Someone type "it's happening" in chat, please. <laughs> Twitch chat, you're on it. Oh man. Overcome it, his immunity is it of light. Oh no! It's not gonna. It, it's not gonna reach. <laughs> no. <laughs> why? Okay. Why? Why do I see a weird beam there? Yeah. No. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, you guys are safe. Oh, you're lucky. You're very, very lucky. Hooray! Um. Okay. So. Question via level and Yes, yes you are. I know. I have seen the Twitch chat a question. Oh I see. Uh okay, so um you guys uh Frank and Reese, with your passive perceptions, uh you see um what looks like a a faint sort of red field of energy um that sort of turns to purple at its edges. Um, wash through the wall uh, and the alcove over here and over here like the, like the edge of an effect oh. uh, either of you can roll an arcana check is that one or both either or oh, no sorry either and even sorry 
Two. Okay. Frank, you're too busy. You don't you don't know what it is. Just I also don't it. know shit about magic. Yeah, uh, uh, Reese, yeah. you do know shit about magic, but you're a bit busy having your blood drained and being shocked. Uh, so you, you I don't like it. Got no idea what it is. <laughs> Everyone else, you don't know. This is the longest shit ever. Um, All right, Sam. Quick, let me heal you. Yeah, Sam gets healed. Yeah, five healing. Fucking, of course. I mean, of course, I roll one. Oh my god, that's terrible. Good job. Okay, it is time yep. to employ the, the minute. Deploy for a minute. We already have it. And we are going to make our. Oh. Oh. oh yeah <laughs> mess with the bull you get the horns all right um that, that badly wounds it um it, it, it uh yeah it, it um it's not quite pokemon single digits but it's pretty close all right i'm gonna spend that inspiration for advantage on the next get him i assume i take some damage from that too uh, you do, unfortunately. Your horns are piercing, so uh, you take Cause it's seven lightning damage. Alright, and now we're going to do it again. Get him! Oh! Oh. <laughs> Double crit! <laughs> so, 11 piercing damage. Fantastic. Uh, it is on, it, and now it's into Pokemon single digits. Do 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 do. <laughs> if you, if if people watching along want a Legend of Zelda analog, um, it's the half a heart sound currently. Um, pe people watching the chat, you can see how many hit points it's on. If I uh, just uh, real quick, uh, just uh, zoom in there for a second. Uh, Those hit points. <laughs> Oh boy. Um alrighty. Um okay, so that's an attack action. Do you have a bonus action? Uh don't I mean I could action surge, but I'm not sure if I want to. Nah. Cause we have so yeah, many attacks we, before it goes. Yeah, yeah it's not worth it. Death. Unless you want unless you want the honor of the kill. <laughs> no, like that's fine. Because okay. the only Anything else I could do is a shove, but I don't want to do that because I like where I. Yeah, fair, fair, fair. Uh, Reese, do you want another D10 for the lightning? I didn't, but thank you for your honesty. Uh, take five points of lightning damage. Bzzzed. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is move my healing spirit to me with my bonus action. Seems and legit. then. Since I've now entered its space, technically, comes <laughs> my turn. I get six healing. Nice. It's better than a that one. Almost <laughs> back up to half. <laughs> okay. Then I'm going to whisper in its ear. You're doesn't, gonna die now. It doesn't have an ear. And it's face holes. <laughs> Wow, double one. Oh my god, it's not even going to kill it. <laughs> Why? Oh. Cool, I'll let somebody else kill it. <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> save you. It cool. passes. That's fantastic. It, it doesn't hear you, and it doesn't understand you. <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> but it's hilarious. It's okay. The dice just fucking hate me, as yeah, always. They, they do sorry. apparently hate you. Always, all the time. Oh, okay. Um, okay, yeah, the ground continues to be slimy. Um, uh, the tentacles don't come back. Uh, the healing spirit ticks, but it should be down here. Crowman, finish it. Punch it good. You face the darkness for eternity. Please. <laughs> he says, slipping over. Whoa, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then you punch it with all your might for six damage. It's on six hit points. 
How do you want to do oh, this? The darkness and despair. How, how would the you? Darkness and <laughs> I, I will punch it in its eye, uh, making sure that darkness envelops it. Nice. Darkness does indeed envelop it. Uh, its tentacles uh, loosen their grasp on uh, Savarikov and on Reese. Vigilante justice has been served. I'm coming. <laughs> Vigilante justice has been served. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, it, it, it is now lo- no longer a muta prone. It floats to the ground looking very sad. Okay. I'm sorry, did you catch all- uh, the bro- the uh, awakened uh, shrubbery uh, shakes uh, wildly as if nodding. Si, sí, senor! Good! I'm going to put this in my notes. I'm going to need you to double check it when I... And then I pull out the Enduring Spellbook and write more notes. Okay. Uh, reroll initiative. Um, and uh, are you going to spend a couple of rounds finishing it off if you're not attacked or anything else happen? Yeah, I will use my halberd from more than five feet away to slash it a few yeah, times. Yeah, yeah. Spend a well, I spend a round finishing it off. Uh, I will roll one d twenty for it because, uh, uh, yeah, no, it, it, you finish it off. It takes a round. Um, cool, cool, cool. In that round, um, you can all do stuff the- for a round, and I'm gonna just roll this d eight real quick. Can we do the uh, the the healing spirit dance? That's exactly what we're gonna do. Uh, you can do uh, if you want to, but the field uh, that you saw uh, is no longer there. That's good. Probably. Healing can spirit you, dance. Can you only heal, please? Yes. We get to do this for another six rounds. Uh, are you gonna do it for another six rounds? <laughs> you can do if you it's want to. Well. Heal. Take advantage of the healing. Uh, yeah. Okay. In which case, uh, let me. So let me roll. Uh, actually, it's, it's not gonna. Considering you're not in combat, that's not gonna happen. Uh, the ground becomes solid again, um, and the tentacles uh, do not appear as you're doing the healing spirit dance. Um, and uh, you don't see the field again in the next six rounds. So we're up to round 15. Uh, has everybody re-rolled initiative? No. Can everybody else re-roll no, initiative? No, please? sorry. Yes. That's okay. Don't worry about it. I'm just going to start rolling here. Healing Spirits. <laughs> Sure. Or do I just want to like take that seven and multiply it by six because that would be kind of like the average. Well, actually, what I was going to say be- was, um, if, if everybody's using it for the next six rounds, everybody can roll. Uh, e- you can each roll six d six plus um, four times seven is twenty eight. Yeah, uh, you roll six d six plus twenty eight. That's just how much you heal yeah. over the that next six rounds. Feels me to fall. Okay. Yeah, it feels me to fall. Roll in. Cool. Uh, also, big news, uh, people. Twitch chat wants to meet um, Sancho. <laughs> T- Twitch chat wants to meet Sancho. Eat Sancho. Eat for Sancho. Yeah, what? No. <laughs> I am one hit point short of math. I feel so. Look at Sancho. Look at him. <laughs> yeah, you can't eat my awakened pot plant. <laughs> he is a valiant squire. <laughs> who will one day be a knight <laughs> oh my god his uh, uh, t- twitch chat um, you and Ryan get the uh, glory of seeing Sancho's stat block um, so uh, Sancho's stat block is here uh, he, uh, he does uh, a mighty uh, 1d4 minus 1 slashing damage uh, if he hits something he has a plus 1 to hit uh, it's a positive modifier uh, he has a mighty class feature known as false appearance, which, if he remains motionless, he is indistinguishable from a normal shrub. <laughs> Truly, the mightiest warrior with his three strength <laughs> and vulnerability to fire. 
<laughs> but he has I to... I am somewhat <laughs> impressed by his constitution I score. mean, he can take a spear thrust and an arrow shot. He has resistance to piercing. <laughs> <laughs> and 10 hit points <laughs> Whoa. if you shoot him he will not die immediately <laughs> unless it's a fire pot oh, the pot of awakening is a fantastic uh, for people who came, who came late uh, they got it from the pot of awakening um, it's a fantastic magical item it's a common magical item from Xanathar's Guide to Everything um, in uh, D&D 5e uh, there are a load of other really good items in there as well the, they're, they're very creative and uh, if uh, Bradley or anybody else uh, has um, I know some of you do I know Bradley does uh, there are some really good tables from Reddit and stuff that have a load more really funny uh, and really good common magical items for anybody to use okay um, after the fight also after you've done the healing spirit dance, uh, you all notice um, <laughs> that uh, underneath the body of the death kiss, at the top of the stairs, a chest has revealed itself. <gasps> yeah, I will open it. We found the orb. And you did not find the orb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did. This got loads of tentacles on it, and it tried to eat us. No, no it's not. <laughs> it's not the orb. Oh, this isn't the orb we came for. No, it's not. <laughs> what if we cut the tentacles off and took it back? You think they they'd fall? From... I don't think so. Those um, bosses are quite knowledgeable about these things. Oh my god! I they don't tell us enough, though. I think we should. They keep secrets. I'm going to write the orb of dragon, dragon power on the side of it and and then that will be uh, As you open the chest It disappears. Uh, no, it doesn't. Hang on. <laughs> it turned into an open chest. Did it I did. not see that? Oh. Yeah. Look if at you that. use an open action on a chest it changes into an open chest. It does. It's like magic. And then it rotates in space. Dad, just ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, inside the chest. Um, Is a mimic. No. Uh, you find two things. Uh, because quite apart from anything else, the chest would be the mimic itself. Um, ah. nope, there's the, the, first, no, the first thing you find is this. Ah. Oh. I believe Ooh. this key will open some stairs. I... It looks hmm. funny. It looks funny. I don't like it. I will go hide in the shadow. <laughs> Using my artificially enhanced intelligence, I'm going to squint really hard at the key and then squint really hard at the statue. And is there a keyhole on that statue in the eye? Ooh, that's a good thought, but no, there is not. Darn. Okay. Uh, the other thing you find in here uh, is the ability uh, for uh, Frank to roll a d100. We, he couldn't do that before. Um, he oh, not for this, but now I'm he can. Oh, what, what did you do? No, don't panic. Trying. Roll a d hundred. He did a fifty-one. Fifty-one, huh? Is it a plus one shield? <laughs> I don't know yet. Give me a second. <laughs> Is the plus one shield a possible? This is magical chest. If I tear the lid of this chest off, <laughs> I use no. the lid as a plus one shield. No, you can't. Uh, what you can do um, is you can roll me one d four, and then the number you roll as one d four, you can roll that many d hundred. Is is this how many plus pluses are on my shield? Yeah, totes, totes, my Oh, this is this is how many plus one shields you get. This is exactly how many. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, uh, it's only a pl only a plus one, not a plus one. Thirty six. Okay, you also find a potion of it's healing. Plus, plus thirty six shield. No, nice. it's a po It's a potion of healing. I already have four of these. Well, now you have another. Someone else should have one. I don't have one, and it feels like something I should have. <laughs> there you go. Oh dear. I um, keep mine next to my iron door. D 
Did you roll that under? <laughs> yes, I did. Fantastic. <laughs> Um, that might, might actually be useful in this one. There are a lot of good places to put an iron door in this dungeon. <laughs> okay, I am, I am definitely keeping this. Um, in, in fact, uh, what, what I would like to propose um, is that we uh, definitely come back to this game um, with, uh, uh, if Steph is here as well. Uh, well, actually, no. Uh, I'd, I'd like to propose a better thing. Bradley, you're away next week, right? Uh huh. Okay, how, how do you feel about Steph piloting Frank next week? Sure. Cool. Okay, in which case, uh, everyone else, how do you feel about doing this next week, but with Steph either piloting Frank or playing her own character, depending on, you know, what she wants to do? Yeah. I mean, in Frank's picture, there is a, a girl, and Letty. that could be... Yeah, it could. <laughs> That's true. Oh. I'll just shift the focus of the token. <laughs> Frank requires maintenance. And that can, that can be uh, Steph's character. Wait. No, it's even better. Frank isn't a character. Frank's a mecha. And then a lady steps out of his chest. Oh, uh, I mean, that's up to Bradley. That's a pretty, that's a pretty big revision of Frank, I think. <laughs> Yeah, I'll tell Okay. I can tell. Uh, so, um, without any further ado then, uh, everyone who is watching, uh, I hope you have uh, enjoyed uh, this uh, stream. Uh,